Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, Black Clover, Rampage Asta. Chapter 81. About half a month ago, a group of robbers suddenly blocked the village. They couldn't get in, but we couldn't get out. It was really bad news during that time. The whole village was in a water crisis. The militia captain said here. She still had lingering fears on his face, it was obvious that this time the village was surrounded by a great shadow on his heart. Is there no water source in the village or someone who understands water magic? Noel himself is a water magician and can easily create a water source, so he can't imagine what it would be like to lack water. The water source in the village is all extracted from the river under the mountain. As for water magic, those robbers don't know where they got the magic props to isolate water magic. In this case, we can't get the water source at all, if Chris stood up. If we come out, we will be trapped alive by them. The militia captain said. Brother, Nawire woke up at this moment, when she realized that she was lying limply on a broad shoulder, which made her mistakenly think it was her brother. However, Nawire soon discovered the abnormality, because her brother had fiery red hair, and the person carrying her at this time was striking silver white. She has only seen this rare hair color on Asta's head. And what's even more frightening is that this person also exudes a strong manly atmosphere that makes people feel weak, which means that he is being carried by the knights of the magic knights who have only one side. Just when the little deer was pounding in Nivel's heart and didn't know what to do with it, Asta cheerfully greeted, You wake up, Nawire. Thank you, Lord Magic Knight. Neville blushed and said softly like a mosquito, I'm fine now, I can leave by myself. Although she has pretended to be very calm, but to others, she is a kind of shy and cute girl who wants to hide herself. No, it looks like I've already arrived home. Asta watched the militia captain stop and couldn't help laughing. Neville, what are you waiting to tell us at the entrance of the village? Vanessa asked at this time. Please take me with you when you enter the ancient battlefield ruins this time, Lords of the Magic Knights. When Neville heard about her brother, she changed her previous weakness and looked at Vanessa with a firm and pleading look. What's the reason? Usually, ordinary people are not allowed in missions, but Vanessa herself is an extremely soft-hearted woman, so she did not directly reject Niver's request. My brother and I have a special telepathy. I can feel the specific location of my brother. As long as you take me in, I can find him. Nawire said eagerly. Telepathy. Vanessa pondered, this ability can indeed help them find the location of Chris as soon as possible, but the ancient battlefield ruins are no joke, this is an ancient ruin that is more terrifying and dangerous than the magic palace, filled with with a large number of out-of-control violent magic circles and unknown dangers derived from out-of-control magic. Under normal circumstances, once a place is found, it is immediately listed as a forbidden place. No country or organization is willing to explore here, because there is no wealth and civilization on the battlefield, and there are only all kinds of weird killings. The reason why Vanessa took the initiative to ask Ying is because her silk magic can condense into a route to instruct them to retreat. This is one of the reasons for agreeing to the trip at night. No, you must not agree. At this time, a middle-aged man said anxiously from behind, Major Knights of the Magic Knights, I am the village leader of this village, Rhodes, and Chris will only leave Neville now. A younger sister, and if we're letting her have an accident, we really don't have the face to face Chris. Yeah, in fact, the people of our Fengale village have lived next to this ancient battlefield for generations. Our ancestors have gone in and explored for thousands of years, leaving a lot of safe routes. Chris must be staying in these safe places now. In the route, the robbers will come out when they are trapped to death. The militia captain also quickly echoed, This is a white lie woven by the people in the village. That's right, Neville, now that the adults of the Magic Knights are here, you are just waiting for a few days, they will definitely bring your brother out. Ross reassured. Don't lie to me. If my brother wants to trap the robbers, they will definitely go to a very dangerous area, and they have been in for three days. If they don't rescue them in time, my brother will die. Eyes, maybe others can find my brother, but when my brother went in, he was afraid that the robbers would be suspicious, so he didn't bring any food, and when he went in, he had not had water for more than a day, and if this continued, he would die. Niver, we have already missed it once, and this time we must not make a second mistake. I have already decided to enter the ruins with the adults of the knights, and if I can't find your brother this time, I won't come out either. Rhodes said, 
took out a map and handed it to Vanessa. This is a map drawn by our village's ancestors who have entered the ruins in the past. It marks the three most dangerous areas and the known safe areas. I am fully prepared, even if I find a dangerous area this time. It's too late, I can still feel my brother alive now, but his breath is already very weak. Originally, if I didn't wait for the Lord of the Magic Knights to come, I would go in by myself, but now that I have, please let me shall I go in together. Neville pleaded, I'm not afraid of death. Be obedient, go home and sleep, and we'll bring your brother. Rhodes said, motioning to the militia captain to forcibly watch over Neville. Although this would make Neville hate her for the rest of her life, it was better than death, isn't it? Don't come here. Neville jumped down from Asta's back, took out a dagger from her sleeve and pressed it against her slender neck, don't think about locking me up, if you don't let me and I will die here. Niver, don't mess around. The villagers were anxious, this was Chris's only relative, and if they were forced to death, they would never forgive themselves for the rest of their lives. After many days, I finally updated again. This time I want to persist for a longer time. Thank you for your patience. I will do my best to bring you a more colorful four-leaf clover world. As we all know, Asta was in a coma for seven days after returning from the Magic Palace. During these seven days, I will take you to explore the battlefield ruins that are also ancient ruins. What a resolute little sister. Vanessa's eyes showed a look of love and pity, a filament has been wrapped around the dagger unconsciously, but she can stop this time, then what about in the future? Asta, save her. Noel grabbed the corner of Asta's clothes, her deer-like water eyes became even more moist, she really envied the feelings of the Neville brothers and sisters, it would be nice if their brothers and sisters were like that. Of course, Asta smiled at Noel, then walked over to Neville. Don't come here again, Lord Magic Knight. Let's go. I'll take you to find your brother, as long as he's still alive, no matter how dangerous the place is, I promise to bring him out as he is. Asta stretched out his powerful right hand, which seemed to be a thorn like the dawn breaking through the darkness, Neville couldn't help but want to hold it tight. Really, are you going to lie to me, and then take the opportunity to take my knife? Neville asked earnestly with her azure blue eyes. No, Asta replied firmly, I believe in you. Neville took a deep breath, and then slowly moved the dagger out of her neck. After seeing that Asta was still motionless, she mustered up the courage to hand the dagger into Asta's hands. This simple act seems to have drained all the girl's strength, and now she has completely lost the capital to negotiate. If Asta goes back on her word, she can only commit suicide in remorse. Look at him, Ross said immediately, and the militia captain rushed towards Nawire at a speed of 100 meters. Nawire's face turned white in an instant. Sure enough, was she still deceived? But the cheerful young man in front of him still didn't move. Sister Vanessa, don't you mind if we have one more companion? Asta took Neville's little hand, then turned to look at Vanessa and smiled, while the strong militia captain and Rhodes didn't move. What happened just now? Obviously trying to control Neville, what did I just get a glance at this young man of the Magic Knights, and I couldn't move? The militia captain's forehead was pea-sized sweat. Is this some terrifying magic being cast? Ross's body stagnated for 0.5 seconds before his body slowly regained control like ice and snow melted. Of course you won't mind, but you have to make sure she gets home safely. Vanessa smiled as she lay on Asta's shoulder. Okay, it's not too late, let's go now. Asta said indistinctly after dodging. Ah, Nawile couldn't have imagined that Asta and the others were moving so fast, she froze for a moment and then said in surprise, I'll lead the way. Master of the Magic Knights, this is the map of the ruins. Ross quickly presented the map. Thank you. Vanessa took the map, then followed Neville away. Village leader, can they save Chris? The militia captain looked at the backs of the three leaving and asked worriedly. He originally thought that the Magic Knights would send a man as burly as him, but he didn't expect it to be a beauty. The leader, the only male was a teenager. I don't know, but that young man has a strong aura, and I can feel the strong vitality radiating from him. At this time, Rhodes can only pin his hopes on the three of them. And when the two of them left, they didn't find the two Kanai sticking quietly on the ground. The three of Asta quickly came to the half-mountain slope under the guidance of Navelle. Major Knights of the Magic Knights, my brother entered through this fork. This is a small road leading directly to the ancient battlefield. 
If you are not familiar with this place, it is likely that this is a small road into the village. Nuair pointed to a small intestine path with fragrant grass. If she hadn't pointed out that it would be difficult for normal people to find this path. Just call me Asta. Asta's amber eyes turned into dark red Sharingan again, and through the insight brought by two Tomo Sharingan, it was clear that the place where the path was about to lead was dead silence. You can call me Sister Vanessa. Vanessa also cast a friendly look at Nivel. No, although I am the princess, we are now partners on the same front. Noel raised his head slightly and said proudly. This little girl is clearly expressing kindness, but she has to pretend to be so arrogant. Asta couldn't help raising the corners of her lips, she was really cute. Thank you brother Asta, sister Noel, and sister Vanessa. Nivelle said very moved, but she didn't expect that the high-ranking knights of the Magic Knights would put down their stature to make friends with her. According to the map given by the village leader, this is a very dangerous approach, and it will lead directly to the most dangerous place in this ruin. Vanessa looked at the map and said, In order to gain their trust, my brother can only choose this road that seems to lead to the village, but everyone wait for me. Nawire said, taking out a package from the grass beside him, this is the food I prepared for my brother. You actually put the package here a long time ago, if you can't wait for us, did you go in by yourself? Noel was so moved by such affection, she really wanted such a relative. Fortunately, we waited until everyone. Nawayer showed a sunny smile. Let's go in, Asta said, taking the lead, and he took out the huge demon breaking sword to clear the roadblocks in front of him. After all, this path has been deserted for a long time, and there are still many gravel and thorns on it. Stupid Asta, choke me, Noel protested, looking at the dust in front of him. Usually on, when people sweep the floor, they sprinkle some water to prevent the dust from flying, so Noel, the task of cleaning up the dust is left to you. Asta laughed. Okay, Noel accepted it subconsciously, and then remembered that he agreed so easily, wouldn't he look cheap? It's really energetic. Vanessa smiled at the backs of the two of them, and then left a silk thread that was almost invisible to the naked eye. This was her silk creation magic to prevent getting lost. I envy such a partner. Nawire bowed her head, she and her brother have been dependent on each other since she was a child, and for some reasons, the villagers did not like her and her brother very much, so she was the closest to her brother and no partner since she was a child. If it wasn't for knowing that this place leads to the ruins of the battlefield, the scenery would still be very good. Noel couldn't help but look at the scenery in the mountains. However, at this moment, she suddenly noticed that the clear water that she had spilled with water magic, suddenly big and small, this was a sign of the magic being out of control, but she was sure that she was not out of control. Little Noel also discovered it. Now we have probably entered the ruins of the ancient battlefield. The magic power here is rampant, so there will be a non-artificial magic power out of control. Vanessa explained. I see, but the journey was so peaceful. Noel felt relieved after receiving the explanation, but then he felt that the ruins of the ancient battlefield were not as terrifying as everyone said. Sister Noel, this road was opened up by our ancestors, so there will be no danger on the way in, but after entering, people will be instantly dizzy and they will never find the original way. If there are no people who enter there is a high chance of walking into a dangerous area. Niver said. It's coming. Asta saw a light blue halo appeared in front of him. Why didn't I see it? Ah, I want to vomit. Noel didn't stop at his feet when he spoke but walked straight in, but the discomfort was immediately placed on his shoulders. Hands are removed. Little Asta's eyes are really beautiful, they turned dark red. Vanessa put her hands on Asta's shoulders and stared at the dark red Sharingan without blinking, as if a Persian cat noticed like a novelty toy, the lavender pupils became a little bigger. Judging from this energetic state, it was obvious that he was not affected by dizziness when he entered the battlefield ruins just now. Vanessa don't get so close, I'm still a child. Asta looked at the swimsuit royal sister who kept teasing her, her heart was bitter. Well, I didn't use the title of sister. It seems that Asta really wants to do something to me. Vanessa straightened up, and her white jade fingertips lightly touched her red lips. This move is foul, because not only mature women there are all kinds of styles, and there is the ignorance and cuteness of ignorant girls. The combination of two completely different attributes is a charm explosion. The shaking Nawayer blushed a little, secretly envious, when will she grow up? 
She also wants to have this kind of charm. Sister Vanessa. Noel protested after stabilizing her mind. Although she was jealous, she would never say it. Okay, little Noai, let's keep moving forward. Although this is the edge of the ancient ruins, the magic power has begun to become turbid and frantic, so don't use large-scale magic easily, otherwise it will be out of control. Vanessa seriously, he took out the map inserted in the swimsuit and looked at it. Sister Vanessa, don't you think it's a little late to study the map now? Asta couldn't help but complain. I forgot, we have little Neville as a guide, so Neville, can you sense your brother's location? Vanessa didn't take her eyes off the map when she asked, because it contained very important information, for example, there will be insects in the ruins that are so powerful that they can survive even in the cruel battlefield ruins. Just in here, it's better not to encounter them, because these are some insects that have mutated and there are huge numbers. I can feel my brother's position. He is right in front of us, but he is very weak now. The place you are referring to happens to be the most dangerous place in the ruins of the battlefield. According to the markings on the map, there will definitely be insects with powerful vitality in this area, and the number is huge, and the people who have arrived here and are still alive only provide this information, because he is only in the outer layer and cannot go deep. Vanessa closed the map and said, Insects. All kinds of hideous insects had already appeared in Noel's mind, and the little pink hairs on his forehead had exploded. Battle Mode Asta stood in front of Noel, as long as you call me Brother Asta, then no bugs can get into you. Dream Noel raised his head and walked forward alone, but he didn't go far before screaming, because there was a corpse full of holes in front of him, and there was a maggot-like head on the corpse. Black in color and full of fangs on its head, this insect found Noel and showed amazing bouncing power. Water Bomb Noel panicked and released a huge water bomb, but the black maggots rushed out of the water bomb. Asta Noel didn't know when he had replaced the word, help, with Asta, maybe it started from the magic palace. No, maybe it started from the day when the magic got out of control. Gia Gia The black maggot made a terrifying and sharp voice, as if mocking Noel and calling no one to use it, because it has absolute confidence in its own speed, and in the wave of people that broke into before, it only used its companions the corpse was fed before it escaped, and now it smelled such delicious food, it couldn't have let it go. Go away. However, at the same time that the black maggots were so fast that they made a double image in midair, a faster and more explosive figure rushed out of the sonic boom like a nine-day blue dragon. Bang. The huge sword of breaking the demon emitted a dazzling red glow, directly shooting the black maggots into blood mist. Next time, remember to call me brother. Asta laughed. Asta, who said that as long as I am in danger, you will come to save me. Noel said dissatisfied. Okay. Asta touched his nose and decided not to reason with the girl, because reasoning is absolutely unreasonable. The one I encountered just now is called a swallowing maggot, it likes to devour flesh and blood, it is a very dangerous creature, and it likes to live in groups, so let's get out of here quickly. Vanessa frowned and said, this is a unique creature here, and it is very difficult to deal with. Okay, Asta replied, and then everyone covered their heads and walked on the road, and from time to time, you can see the bones that have been dead for a long time, and the corpses that died not long ago. Obviously these skeletons belong to earlier adventurers, and these freshly cooled corpses belong to robbers. If Nivel hadn't been able to feel that her brother was still alive, she would have collapsed by now. Ohm. At this moment, everyone suddenly heard a violent vibration of wings in their ears, and then a wasp the size of an adult head appeared in front of everyone. This is a corpse picking poisonous bee, run. Vanessa's expression changed at this time. The strength of these poisonous bees was not very strong. Any magician could easily deal with one or two. It's terrifying. I can't escape. Noel looked at the poisonous bees that were crowding in all directions, and without thinking, he immediately mobilized his magic power, water creates magic, the sea dragon's lair. However, the huge water barrier in her imagination did not appear, and at this time she was surprised to find that her magic power had disappeared. My magic power is also completely isolated. It seems that this is a forbidden place where all magic is isolated. Vanessa said cautiously. Fire release Gokaku no Jutsu. Asta cast Uchiha clan's C rank ninjutsu without hesitation. Since this raging flame is composed of the majestic chakra in the body, it is not restricted by the magic forbidden area. 
Hu, the fire rushed towards the poisonous bees, and a large number of poisonous bees were wiped out by ninjutsu in an instant. Om, Om, the poisonous bees continued to charge without fear of life and death, and Asta released Gokaku no Jutsu without getting tired. The tug of war lasted for several minutes before these poisonous bees completely disappeared. Saved. Although Nawire is a girl who is soft on the outside and tough on the inside, but when she suddenly saw this kind of battle that seemed to destroy the world, her inner fear was also aroused, and now she knew that the battlefield was in the ruins. How terrible. You know they are still out there. Even the most dangerous area is already extremely dangerous. Now that I think about Nawire, I feel scared afterward. Fortunately, she encountered a black bull, otherwise she would not even be able to pass the black maggot in the first level. Follow me from now on, this place is very strange. Asta said with a solemn expression, and everyone tacitly did not ask why he was able to cast magic, while isolating all magic. Sister Vanessa, it was clear that the surrounding magic was violent just now, why is the magic isolated now? Noel asked with lingering fears. The methods of the ancient wizards are far from what we can imagine now. This place is in the deepest part of the battlefield, and all changes are possible. Vanessa looked at Asta. Asta is now only handed over to you. Don't worry, Sister Vanessa. At this moment, Asta was almost laughing and twitching in his heart. My day, he actually got 100,000 points from the burn just now, and he can exchange it for flying jade in an instant. Is the income of this poisonous bee so impressive? Asta looked at the scorched poisonous bee all over the ground, his eyes became hot, where is this monster, this is simply a money-giving baby. A poisonous bee has 500 points, which is worth more than a magician. In fact, what Asta doesn't know is that these poisonous bees, who are simply experience-based to him, are like nightmares in the eyes of other mages, especially in places where magic cannot be used, which is simply fatal, so one 500 points is really not expensive. Tisk tisk. Asta smacked his lips regretfully, but unfortunately the task is urgent now, otherwise he must kill the quartet here. Exchange for the flying jade. Asta hurriedly exchanged. After all, this kind of thing can be exchanged for one minute more than one minute's trump card. Ding dong successfully redeemed flying jade, spend 100,000 points. Normal effect. 15 flying jade can be summoned to gather under the feet to fly at a high speed, with room to rise. Special effect. None at the moment. Cool. Asta suppressed his desire to try it, and then looked forward to the monsters behind him. Asta, what the hell are you thinking about with that perverted smile? Noel was keenly aware that Asta's smile was a bit wretched, like a husky that just ate honey. Be careful, Asta turned his head and wanted to make a joke, but suddenly found a scribbled magic circle under Noel's feet, and at the same time Noel's little feet almost fell to the ground. Whoosh, Asta hugged Noel by the waist, a very dazzling princess hug, blinding all the women in the scene. Ah, ah, how shy, Noel blushed, thinking of the powerful magic circles in the magic palace, he couldn't help but gratefully said, thank you. Quote quote. You're welcome. Asta gave a wicked smile, followed by Vanessa's hesitant voice. I can still feel that my magic is isolated by mysterious substances, so this magic circle should have no effect. Vanessa said, lying on the ground and poking the ground with her little finger, nothing happened, and looking at this magic the array should have been carved in a hurry, and I am afraid that even if there is no magic isolation, it will not be able to perform magic. Really, I forgot, Asta put Noel down, in fact he knew it, but little Noel was so cute, how could he not make fun of him? Ah, Asta, Noel pouted, hammered Asta, then walked to Vanessa, she understood, only Vanessa was the safest. We seem to be getting closer and closer to my brother, Neville said in surprise, she could even feel Chris's heartbeat. Although it was weak, it was still beating firmly. Then speed up the pace, Asta said sternly, on the next road, everyone saw a large number of robbers' bodies. It seems that these robbers have suffered a devastating blow. How cruel. This is the first time Noel has seen so many corpses, and there are thousands of people densely packed. This King de Hao bandit group is really big. If they occupy the Fengale village, which is easy to defend and difficult to attack, the consequences will be unimaginable. Vanessa couldn't help but sigh, and now she admires Neville's brother a little bit. It's a pity. Asta looked at the corpses all over the ground. If he killed the points, he could at least reach 100,000. 
Run, the headless soldier is here again. Mom save me, what the hell is this place? Find Chris, let him take us out. Commander, where is the commander? The captain seems to have fallen into a cave with Chris, but there are so many cockroaches around the cave that they can't get close at all. I swear, I will slaughter the village when I go out, I will slaughter the village. Asta and his party walked forward for a while, Noel and Vanessa were pleasantly surprised to find that their magic power had recovered, and they also encountered a small group of surviving robber. I originally wanted to inquire about the news, but now it seems that there is no need. Asta rushed out like a ghost, and there were a total of eight magicians in front of him. 1. Asta crossed the first person's head, followed by the second and third. Don't kill us, we have important information. The rest of the robbers panicked. What kind of humanoid monster is this? Forbidden land and poisonous bees have damaged hundreds of people, and this is where there is no magic isolation, but at this time they have also entered the battlefield, and a more terrifying creature has appeared, that is, the ancient battlefield left over. Head soldier. Next, you will meet tens of thousands, no, millions of headless soldiers. They are densely packed, and any creatures that appear in front of them will be mercilessly beheaded. I know the way to escape. Surround me. A robber knelt down. Unfortunately, I heard all your conversations just now. Next, let's atone for the sins you committed. Asta killed him with a quick blow, and the system immediately sounded a prompt. Ding dong. This time, you killed a total of eight first-class lower-level mages and received 2,400 points as a reward. Not bad. Asta looked at the points that were barely stuck between his teeth, but it was better than nothing. Neville, can you feel when they say your brother is in this cave? Vanessa asked with concern. Sister Vanessa, I can feel my brother is inside, but what about these cockroaches? Neville asked eagerly. Cockroaches are afraid of fire, leave it to me. Asta said as he spat out a mouthful of Gokaku no Jutsu, many cockroaches were scared away, but some were burned to death in the flames. Ding dong. This time, you killed a total of 59 relic cockroaches and got 5,900 points reward. Sure enough, any creature here is worth a fortune. Asta began to intensify his efforts to clean up these cockroaches on the periphery. After the initial panic, these cockroaches began to attack with the advantage of their numbers. Water bomb. Noel immediately joined the battlefield, while Vanessa protected Navelle, and the occasional cockroach that slipped through the net was easily killed by her. Ding dong. This time, you killed a total of 680 relic cockroaches and got 68,000 points as a reward. Finally killed. Asta looked at the corpses of cockroaches all over the ground, and used the Sword of Severing Demons to blow a powerful whirlwind to clean it up before walking into the cave. It's so dark. Noel couldn't help but think of the dark and narrow corridor in the Magic Palace, and his body subconsciously approached Asta, Sister Vanessa, is there a lighting device here? There shouldn't be, little know I, the Magic Palace is a man-made building, but most of the ancient battlefield ruins are carried out in the wilderness, and under the kind of terrifying magic that neither side will die, even if there are man-made buildings, there are very few man-made buildings. It will be preserved, so the ruins of the ancient battlefield, except for the occasional scavenging of ancient terrifying killing magic, there are all kinds of harm and no benefit. Vanessa said. So it is. Noel is a little regretful, the dark cave is really a nightmare for these little fairies who love cleanliness, because they don't know what terrifying creatures will step on next, or what will fall from the top of the cave. Nasty slime. There is someone in front. Asta's vision through Sharingan is unobstructed, and he can see far away with the help of the weak fluorescence in the hole. Is it my brother? Neville exclaimed excitedly. And the leader of the bandit group, he also found us. Asta said calmly. I didn't expect that someone would really come to save this waste. Let me, Betch, see which magic knights came. Is it the Golden Dawn? No, no, those arrogant nobles, how could they take on such a task, so? The head of the bandit group flashed fire from his fingers, and in this light he could clearly see the Black Bull's cloak. It turned out to be the Black Bull at the bottom, how about we negotiate a business? The leader of the bandit group lifted Chris, who was limp on the ground, with one hand, I let this waste, how about you let me go too? Quote. Brother. Nuair covered her mouth, she knew that her brother would be miserable, but she didn't expect it to be like this, the whole person seemed to have been soaked in blood and mud, with fiery red hair time is also grayed out. Nee. Nuair, 
Why are you here? How can you come here? Chris raised his head with difficulty. Originally, his eyes were very calm, but now there is panic. This is his most precious sister, the only relative in my life. It seems that this girl is very important to you, so if you don't want her to be buried with you, you'd better tell me how to get out of here. The head of the robber band raised his mouth when he said this, and then dragged Chris towards everyone came, and in his opinion, the bottom most magic knights, a group of girls-based squads, didn't need him to be so vigilant at all. Moreover, it is impossible to say that you can relax in this ghost place. The leader of the bandit group, looking at the Vanessa, the slim Noel, and the lovely Neville, couldn't help but have evil thoughts. If you dare to hurt him, you should wait to be buried with us. Chris said this, and smiled at Neville with difficulty. Because of the rapid loss of vitality in his mind, he even had memories before his death. Brother, brother, why are the children in the village throwing stones at me? Don't they like to see me? Brother, I'm so sad, why do people in the village have relatives and friends, but we don't? Especially Nana's family, people in the village say they are heroes and admire them very much. Neville said sadly. A hero. That good brother, also want to be a hero. Chris, who was still a teenager, regained his strength. He once had the same troubles as his sister. In the face of everyone's ridicule and ridicule, he would run away like a lost dog. But he doesn't want Neville either, so he wants to be a hero. From then on, when there was a landslide outside the mountain, Chris was desperate to clean it up. If the house in the village was broken, he would move wood blocks for free. He deliberately destroyed the family's house, and then moved the wooden blocks in a fake manner. It was at this time that Chris understood that it was a fantasy to become a hero by virtue of such trivial things, so he wanted to become a magic knight. However, he couldn't let go of his sister, so he began to hunt animals such as mountain wolves and wild boars, which are difficult for adult hunters to hunt. However, the result was still in vain. After tossing for half-adolescence, Chris is also an adult, and finally realizes that he is just a weak ant. He gave up, and didn't want to overestimate his own strength, because this would not only make himself more embarrassed, but also his sister would be implicated. This is a situation he absolutely does not want to see. However, after so many years of hard work, it is not that he has not been recognized by the people in the village, at least those children will call him a fake hero. His life was until the village was surrounded by robbers from the enemy country. At that time, he no longer wanted to be a hero, but looking at his sister who was dying because of lack of water, he resolutely put on his red cape. His fake hero is finally about to save the village, or rather his poor sister. He had a very bold plan in his mind, that is to pretend to surrender, and then bring this group of robbers into the ruins. Lord village leader, you must not let him go out, Maybe he has already colluded with the enemy and is waiting for us to open the door. That's right, Lord Rhodes, his parents are liars, who defrauded most of our village's savings, the swindler's son can't be trusted. He may really know what Shaolu is. He has been neglected all these years, and he will definitely take revenge on us. The villagers were full of distrust. Sir village leader, our family is weak, my sister has collapsed on the bed and can't get up, she is about to die. I am the only sister, I hope you can take good care of her after I leave, if, I really I did it to lure them away, I don't need to be a hero, I just want my sister to survive, I hope she gets the respect she deserves. I know that the sins of my parents cannot be washed away, but I will bear all of them. I beg you all, Chris. Chris wore his most handsome clothes on this day, with a clean red cloak, flying red long hair, and a tall and straight body, which made him look really like a hero some children even they all worshipped, and then under the eyes of this worship, the man knelt down. His head hit the ground hard. The muffled sound made by the man shook the hearts of all those present. Let's go. Rhodes turned his head, whether Chris really wanted to distract the enemy or run for his own life, he didn't want to think about it anymore, this kneeling is enough. I still remember that in the cold wind, a red-haired boy knocked on the door from house to house. He was starving to death, but the red-haired boy just bowed and took out a small shabby bowl, one want to give my sister some food, she hasn't eaten for several days. Roll, go away, liar's son. That night, Chris only begged for a bowl of meat porridge. That's right, he gave it. At that time, the teenager was ecstatic and ran home with the meat porridge. Rhodes didn't know the reason, 
maybe he wanted to see if Chris was eating for himself or for his sister. He felt that the child was not bad in nature and did not inherit the cunning genes of his parents. On the contrary, it will help the village to do a lot of work. But the liar is good at camouflage, so he wants to thoroughly see how Chris will behave in the face of death. Sister, there's porridge. Chris helped Neville up, and then carefully fed him one bite at a time. The boy didn't eat a single bite of meat porridge from beginning to end. Brother, thank you. Nuair burst into tears. What nonsense, yes, this is the meat porridge I got from the village leader. In return, I need to go to work for a day. Don't worry, Chris said. Yeah, Nawire nodded obediently, not knowing why she always felt that her brother was a little strange, looking at her as if she wanted to imprint her appearance in her mind. I'm leaving, Chris smiled, and then Rhodes looked at the boy in thin clothes, put on a red cloak, picked up a sickle, and the young figure disappeared out of the village little by little. That was the first time Chris asked for help, for his sister. Is it the second time now? Or for his sister? And this time, Chris did it completely, and he became the hero of the whole village. But these people seemed to have no chance to make up, so clearly the crisis in the village has been lifted, and they still issued tasks with high salaries. Barry with you, Gia Gia, the hero of our Fengale village has begun to threaten my poor robber again. I really never thought that a hero like you could appear in a small mountain village. Lao Tzu, who is all over the world, was deceived, but now everything is over. The leader of the bandit group came bathed in the flames beating with his fingertips. It was an absolutely hideous face that could make the child stop crying, and the figure of Chris gradually became clearer. The red cloak he was wearing was already full of blood and mud, and it was conceivable that these robbers had already performed atrocities in order to ask for a way out. Brother, Neville's eyes instantly turned red. It's all right, my brother has become a hero now, and no one will bully you in the village in the future. My Neville can socialize like a normal girl. Chris raised his head with difficulty, reluctantly from a smirk appeared on his bruised face. Really, obviously such a beautiful girl, how can they bear to be isolated? Chris couldn't figure it out, it was obviously the grudge of the previous generation, why should they pay it back? Brother, I don't want you to be a hero, I want you to survive. Nawire cried sadly, all this brother did for her. Do you want him to survive? It's very simple, where is the exit? I'll let him go, no, let go of all of you. The bandit captain couldn't help being amused by his own humor when he said this. Man, how is that possible? He's going to take revenge, he's going to regroup, he's going to loot every village he can see. Don't trust him, he won't let us go, you go. Chris used the last strength of his body to hug the leg of the bandits, but just such a simple action cracked seven or eight wounds on his body scholar. Gia Gia, what a fragile and weak person, but still want to be a hero. Don't you know that mice should get into the sewers? Now that they are exposed, they really look like they are about to die. Saying that, he hit Chris's back with his elbow violently, and Chris immediately spit out a lot of blood. Asta, Neville immediately showed a pleading look. I know you are members of the Magic Knights, but it's best not to move, because how fast can you be faster than the flame in my hand? The flame in my hand can burn this bug instantly, of course, as a talk with you the capital of the condition, I will only teach this delusional hero, so I will give him a sigh of relief. The bandit leader laughed heartily after speaking, he liked the feeling of controlling the audience. Is there no one who can, 613, faster than the fire in your hand? Asta's eyes are calm, but this is the calm before the storm. Cage, shuriken no jutsu. Asta moved, and before he moved, the kanai in his hand rushed towards the bandit leader's shadow even more violently. How dare he move, how dare he move, the bandit leader looked at Asta in disbelief as he disappeared due to too fast. He never dreamed that the members of the magic knights representing justice would rush towards him regardless of the life and death of the hostages, do they think they can't kill the hostages? Or are they really confident enough to think they can beat the flames at their fingertips? But this was only the thought of the bandit leader for a moment, less than 0.1 second, and then a stern look appeared on his stunned face, he was going to kill Chris. He was going to burn Chris alive with flames. As soon as this crazy idea emerged, the bandit leader had already begun to act, but then he found that his body could not move. That is the sudden stagnation, Asta has locked the bandit leader's throat with one hand and lifted it up, 
and now Asta only needs to gently rub his fingers, then the bandit leader's throat will be twisted off. Asta, you, Noel was taken aback by Asta's sudden attack, but before she could exclaim, she was shocked to see that Asta had already taken down the bandit leader. What kind of fairy teammate is this? Do you want to be so powerful? Noel's little liver jumped with a thud. He's really a strong boy. Vanessa's beautiful pink eyes also showed an amazing look. I really don't know who is taking care of whom this trip to the ancient battlefield. Hee hee, hee hee. The bandit leader looked at Asta's red eyes in horror in the black shadow. Asta's fingers loosened, and the bandit leader immediately said, Are you a human or a ghost? How did you do it? Your fire magic has made you, but it has also become the cause of your death. This may be the result of every cause, right? Asta laughed at himself, if it wasn't for the fire magic of the bandit leader's fingertips that shone through him the shadow, he wouldn't rescue Chris so easily. Asta, stay alive. Vanessa, Neville and the others walked over quickly, then helped Chris. Yeah, got it. Asta threw the bandit leader on the stone wall of the tunnel, intending to knock the bandit leader unconscious before taking him away. After all, he didn't have any binding magic, so he simply stunned the bandit leader and took it away, saving trouble. Safety. Bang. The body of the bandit leader and the stone wall made a violent sound, which suddenly startled the countless cockroaches and bats in the cave. Gia Gia Gia. The tunnel lost its light, and the sudden loud noise made this cave a holy place for all kinds of insects and bats to revel in an instant. Let's go. Vanessa can't help but change her face. She can feel that many insects are coming towards them, and if they don't go, they will be directly drowned by the sea of insects. You guys go first, Asta said, taking a deep breath, and then spewing fire release Gokaku no Jutsu towards the pitch black corridor. Boom, the flames were roaring, and in an instant, I didn't know how many cockroaches and unknown insects were killed, and those bats that were too late to break did not burn a lot. Asta will take care of herself, Vanessa said hurriedly seeing that Noel didn't want to leave. But, Noel wanted to accompany Asta, because Asta came with the dawn when she was in the dark several times, so she also wanted to be Asta's dawn. Nothing. Asta naturally noticed this scene, and immediately hugged Noel by the waist and then turned Noel behind him, hold firmly. Yeah, Noel didn't know what was going on, he hugged Asta subconsciously, and then saw Asta holding Chris and the bandit leader in his hands one by one, Vanessa also reacted quickly and sat down with Neville. The magic broom galloped out of the corridor. When Gokaku no Jutsu disappeared, the insects and bats behind them rushed towards Asta and the others frantically, as if they wanted to wipe out all the humans who stayed in this cave. However, when they reached the entrance of the cave they stopped because the sun was shining in. Ha, huh, I'm finally saved. Noel remembered those hideous insects, and now he still looks like he has lingering fears. Brother, Neville jumped down beside Chris for the first time, no matter how Chris looks now, he looks like he is going to die. However, Asta could feel Chris' tenacious vitality, and now it's just a little weak, but it's not life-threatening. Silly sister, how can you come here? Chris finally cried. He didn't cry when he was in deep trouble, and he didn't cry when he was almost thrown to feed the bugs, but at this time he couldn't help crying. Brother, water. Seeing that Chris's dry lips were full of blood, Neville hurriedly brought the water bottle she brought over. Gudong, Gudong, cough cough cough. Chris gulps down a few mouthfuls of water and then can't help spraying a lot. Brother, how are you? Nawire suddenly became anxious. Neville, your brother has just been beaten in the back by the robber, so his lungs were injured, and this is what happened after drinking so much water at once, don't worry. Vanessa relieved. Asta, do you still have that potion? Noel looked at Asta and asked. Of course. Asta took out the recovery potion he just exchanged and handed it to Navelle, while Navelle carefully gave it to Chris. The main effect of the recovery potion was to restore magic power and chakra, but it also had a certain effect on injuries. After Chris took the recovery potion, he felt as if he had come back to life all at once. The injured lung was healed in an instant, but it also recovered at an extremely fast speed. Thank you, thank you, Chris said with difficulty. Needless to say, recover slowly, Nawire, you can take these healing potions and use one bottle externally and internally every day, and then bring your brother to the doctor for further conditioning. It should be cured. 
Asta said and handed it to Nawe five bottles of one point healing potion. Although the healing potion is cheap, it is still very helpful for treating trauma and recuperating the body. Thank you, Lord Asta. Navelle cried gratefully. Don't call me an adult anymore, wouldn't we already be partners when we enter here again? Asta laughed. That's right, Noel raised his head and said, and then controlled the water magic to wash Chris. As for the wound, Niver poured a healing potion. Although it was very painful, but the wound will heal at a speed visible to the naked eye. Little Asta really has a lot of secrets. Would you like to go to my sister's room to have a deep chat at night? Vanessa said with a sigh of relief. Hey, I don't want it anymore. Asta immediately said that he couldn't roar at such a foul-smelling sister, and just when everyone relaxed their vigilance, there was a sudden noise in the distance. This is... Asta pricked up his ears for the first time. It's like the sound of a soldier in armor walking. Noel, as a princess, was no stranger to this kind of sound. Headless soldier. Vanessa suddenly remembered the ancient undead that the bandit members said. Not good. Let's go. Chris's face changed greatly. He had personally experienced the horror of this kind of headless soldier. In fact, the previous loss of the bandit group was not big, but it was not until they met the headless soldier that they completely collapsed. This soldier is simply horrible. No magic can hurt, no physical attack can work. They will have neat formations, unstoppable arrows, and deafening drums. Boom, boom, as if to verify Chris's fear, the terrifying sound of war drums sounded again. Wow, the previously injured Chris vomited again, until Asta delivered the chakra into him. Let's go. Vanessa turned serious for the first time, because it was the first time she had heard of this kind of headless soldier. She had never heard of it before, but it could also be that everyone who had seen a headless soldier was already dead, it is impossible for the dead to deliver news. Sister Vanessa, I feel like my magic is gone again. Noel panicked. Me too, but I can sense the way back. Vanessa said. Come up first. Asta carried Chris on his back. Fortunately, the sound of the war drums did not sound again, but as a burst of smoke came quickly, everyone lost their vision for a short time. When the fog cleared, suddenly came from all directions. The number of ancient soldiers. These soldiers have only one characteristic, that is, no head was beheaded, but their armor may be an ancient magic tool, so even if they are dead at this time, they still maintain the instinct of killing. And this killing is indiscriminate. Asta saw that many mutant insects in ancient ruins were slaughtered one by one by headless soldiers with magic swords. They can actually use magic. Noel was completely shocked. How powerful were magicians in ancient times to create such killing monsters? Quickly enter the cave. Chris exclaimed in shock. It's not time yet. Asta looked at the pampered bats and all kinds of clamoring insects in the cave. Once caught in it, the consequences would be equally unimaginable, so what should be done now is to find the weakness of these headless soldiers. If you really can't, you can choose to hide in the hole. Asta, do you see any of those soldiers holding a philosopher's stone? I think each philosopher's stone should represent a kind of magic, can you try to break them? Vanessa said. Leave it to me. Asta nodded, and after turning on two Tomo Sharingan, he also discovered that these magic stones with various inscriptions engraved on them contain huge energy, and the attributes gathered by these energies are different, so these the magic stone is likely to be the key to breaking the formation. The best guess is that these magic stones are energy concentrating stones, that is, by gathering the surrounding attribute magic to create a magic vacuum, causing the enemy to suppress the magic of imprisonment, and then the magic stone can provide these headless soldiers with energy, which is its the best guess. Flowers with five leaves. Sword of the Demon Breaker. Asta opened the second door instantly, took out the Sword of Suppression of Demons, and his body was filled with green and red lights, and the powerful aura swept all around like ripples. Okay, so powerful. Chris's eyes widened in astonishment. At this time, the boy was like a god of war. This is what a hero looks like. Bang. Asta clicked on the ground with one foot, and made a violent sonic boom, and then the whole person seemed to rush more than 10 meters away in the blink of an eye. Be quick, be quick, but Asta still feels that his speed is too slow, because there are too many headless soldiers, and they are suppressing them like a tidal sea. If he can't find a way to crack them as soon as possible, Noel and the others will be in danger. This is definitely not what Asta wants to see. Here comes the result. Almost instantly, 
Asta rushed to the front of the headless soldier. Click. The headless soldiers in the front row raised the great sword in their hands in unison. Except that they have no heads, they have almost preserved all the combat experience in front of them. So only a dozen headless soldiers were separated to surround Asta, and the rest of the soldiers were still moving forward slowly, but never retreating. Bang bang bang. For a time, countless giant swords staggered, sending out a spark like iron. Truly extraordinary. Here's what Asta has to say about these headless soldiers. However, no matter how rare it is, it is a product that has crossed the river of time, so these armors and these heavy swords, and then Asta's crazy swing, quickly disintegrated. Asta found that every soldier's chest is inlaid with a red gem, as long as the gem is broken, these soldiers will immediately return to dust, but these headless soldiers will also protect the chest gem like a heart. The system will exchange 3000 kanai, Asta said immediately. When the goods arrive, 10 kanai per point, 300 points will be deducted this time. The system said immediately. Kill kill kill. Every time Asta waved his hand, he would throw 4 kanai, and these kanai would precisely smash the chests of the headless soldiers who were not involved in the battle. Ohm. Soon, it may be that Asta's slaughter was too exaggerated. I saw a dark blue light beam shining on his face. At this time, Asta could see clearly that these headless soldiers holding gems were holding not only a huge gem, but also a headless general. Come, I saw a headless general wearing a blue cape, following the guidance of the dark blue beam, raised a huge wind blade like an eagle hitting the sky and smashed it down towards Asta. Asta, Noel exclaimed, after the huge wind blade landed, the monstrous hurricane blew away all the headless soldiers around in an instant. This terrifying destructive power made everyone present unable to bear it. Frightened. Simon. Asta opened the third gate. Simon, of the eight inner gates at this moment, which is also the last security line of the eight inner gates. At this time, Asta's body began to become blood red due to congestion. As for the green light radiating from the whole body also shines brightly. Although it's still a little reluctant to turn on. Simon, now, but you are very good. Asta's eyes burned with fierce fighting intent, and he finally found an opponent who could fight him physically. Bang bang bang. The headless general has no memory of his life, so he won't chat with Asta. The giant sword in his hand and the endless wind magic even forced Asta into a predicament for a while. However, if the headless general is conscious at this time, he will definitely find that Asta's speed is getting faster and stronger, and this is a sign that his body is adapting to the opening of the third gate, Simon. Okay, so strong. Noel originally thought that his brothers and sisters were already very strong, but at this time, seeing Asta, who was fighting against the ancient headless general like a king, couldn't help but tremble, this is really too handsome. We are about to keep up with Asta, the headless soldiers behind are getting closer and closer. Vanessa sighed Asta's powerful strength, and at the same time paid attention to the rapid changes in the battlefield. Okay, Noel hurriedly followed Asta's footsteps, and now thanks to the headless general's terrifying blow, the distance between their front and Asta's back was no threat, and of course they couldn't get too close to Asta, because the fight between Asta and the headless general was too intense and shocking, just Yue shook the surrounding land to pieces. Bang bang bang. At this time, Asta became more and more brave, and he would take time out to drink a bottle of recovery potion. Looking back at the headless general, the gemstone on his chest was already darkened, but at this moment, the magic stone held by the headless soldier emitted a huge beam of light shining on the headless general. The headless general stopped after a short period of time. Taking him as the origin, a huge wind column suddenly rushed out within a range of 10 meters. This wind column seems to be straight into the sky, making the entire sky of the ancient ruins even more treacherous and changeable. In contrast, many of the headless soldiers in this phalanx were wiped out due to the exhaustion of energy. ZZZ. Asta resisted the wind column twice with the sword of the broken demon, and was finally thrown upside down by the top. Noel stepped forward, unexpectedly wanting to catch Asta, but Asta turned over beautifully in midair, successfully avoiding Noel's fragrant hug, there is no way, he is used to being a single dog carrot tea. Are you okay? Noel asked. It's okay. Due to the effect of the recovery potion, Asta is in good spirits and full of energy. It's just that this huge wind magic is too earth-shattering, this is completely magic that can change the sky. One can imagine how terrifying it was when the headless general was still alive. But Asta is not afraid at all, 
because the sword of severing demons in his hand can rebound and cut off magic. In addition, the second sword, the sword of the old demon, can also absorb the magic power and release it. Ha! Huh. Suddenly, the surrounding wind stopped, and I saw a huge wind tornado gathered on the headless general's giant sword. At this time, the headless general stood in the sky, and the giant sword held in both hands seemed to be dragging the main film. The sky is the same. No, he's going to make a big move. Vanessa's face changed, at this moment they still had no magic power. Vanessa, you push back. Asta took a step forward, his fighting spirit was high, the green light on his body was even brighter, and the sword of breaking the demon in his hand was even more red, he wanted to split this wind magic that seemed to destroy the world. A real man is to be positive. Boom, I saw the headless general slashing into the sky with a huge wind magic, and the wind magic was like an ancient dragon, tearing everything and rushing towards Asta. Break it for me. Asta jumped up high, using all the strength of his waist and crotch with his hands, and his waist wong to how and crotch with all the strength of his feet. At this time, Asta slashed out, and he was the strongest. Big hit. This is all one blow after opening the three doors. Bang. I saw the huge wind dragon split in two, and the raging wind spread behind him. Noel and the others were in no danger because they were close behind Asta, but the headless soldiers behind them suffered. Many were shattered by wind magic. Boom. However, Asta's sword energy did not stop after destroying the wind magic, only to see the headless general, the initiator of the wind magic, split into two, and then the magic that provided energy for this square the stone was also shattered directly by the shock, and in an instant there was no headless soldier in front of everyone. I feel the magic is restored. Noel felt the surging water magic pouring out of the philosopher's stone at the moment when the philosopher's stone shattered. It's now, let's go. Vanessa controlled the magic broom to carry Neville and Chris, and then took Noel's little hand and ran forward with her long legs, because a bigger crisis was coming from behind. Boom, boom, behind him, the sky-high war drums sounded again, and a rain of magic arrows that covered the sky and sun hit here. At the same time, more than a dozen headless generals wearing blue capes also rushed towards Asta and them. The number of these headless soldiers is really terrifying. Asta disliked Vanessa and Noel for running too slowly, and simply picked one up with one hand, and then started to gallop, while Nivelle and Chris followed closely under Vanessa's control. Yeah, Noel's body suddenly vacated, and he couldn't help being surprised, complaining, stupid Asta, can't you say hello in advance when you hug me? So, in the future, I can hug you as long as you say hello. Asta laughed. Product hash. Epsilon L. Noel wanted to breathe out the fragrance, but she couldn't, so she could only hold back her face flushed. So cute. Vanessa couldn't help but chuckle. Sister Vanessa. Noel realized that Vanessa was also caught under his arm by Asta. Yes, we are all being held by little Asta now. Barna Shah jokingly said. Lord Magic Knights, now is not the time to be teasing, look behind you. Chris's vitality was simply amazing. After drinking the recovery potion, he was already alive and strong. He looked behind him with a panicked expression. What a rain of arrows. And those headless generals are running too fast. It's like a man being chased by a dog. He thought he could outrun a dog, but when he turned around, he found that the horse-riding dog had opened its bloody mouth and was ready to bite. Leave it to me. Asta made an emergency stop and put Vanessa and Noel down gently, then slammed his body to the rear, and the dozen or so headless generals who followed them immediately ejected, and the great swords in their hands bloomed. Colorful magic. Wind magic. Water magic. Ice magic. Fire magic. Every headless general's magic attack is full of terrifying destructive power. But what they encounter is Asta and the Sword of Slayer. Big tornado. Asta swung the Sword of Severing Demons in place, and by spinning quickly in place, a huge red fetch and green tornado took shape. Bang bang bang. Asta collided violently with those headless generals and arrows, and without exception, one of the more than a dozen headless generals flew upside down. The arrows flying towards them were also blocked from the big tornado. Asta, it's really strong. Nawire covered her mouth and exclaimed. Let's go. Asta stopped spinning and immediately poured a bottle of recovery potion, and a lot of lost physical strength was replenished again, but this was almost his limit. Now the whole body is flushed red, it is like a cannon that has experienced a fierce battle, and even the cannon has been burned red by explosives. 
These dozen or so headless generals are too powerful. Not only are their terrifying magical attacks, but their physical attacks are equally terrifying. Every block of a headless general's great sword seems to be hit by a train of dozens of tons. Asta, are you all right? Noel looked worried. It's okay, Asta said, picking up Noel and Vanessa again. Boom, boom. After more than a dozen headless generals flew out, they just smashed big pits, and then climbed up as if they had just fallen, and the war drums in the army behind hurried again. The sound of the drum sounded, this time the drum sound seemed to affect the entire ancient battlefield ruins, and the heartbeats of all creatures trembled. Ohm, I heard a melodious, dull horn sound that seemed to have traveled through eternity, and then an absolute king appeared in a red cloak and a golden pocket helmet, and there was nothing under the pocket of the red-robed king. I saw the king holding up a colorful long sword, and Asta can clearly see that the hilt of the sword is inlaid with seven gems through two Tomo Sharingan. When the red-robed king raised the sword, all the magic stones in the army frantically gathered the majestic magic power towards the sword, in contrast to the silence of all the headless soldiers and generals. Hum, the long sword of the red-robed king is like a giant dragon that devours energy, and all the magic power of this world is gone in an instant. Asta, run, Vanessa said coquettishly, this is definitely a sword that can destroy the world. This is an absolute forbidden spell that even the leaders of the nine great magic knights can't use. For a while, Vanessa can I thought that only magic emperor could match this red-robed king. I've run with all my strength. Asta felt a huge attraction suddenly coming from behind him. This pulling force was like a black hole that was hard to resist. It seems that a kind of enchantment light is coming. Chris turned his head and said in horror, protecting his sister. At this time, the red-robed king seemed to have gathered his energy, and saw a black light radiating from the top of the sword, and all the places covered by the black light were full of death, whether it was the flamboyant corpse picking poisonous bee or the terrifying devouring maggots, at this time, they are as fragile as duckweed and they disappear when they are touched by the black light. It's totally the ray of death. Asta, put me down, I'll run. Noel looked at Asta's mouth and bit blood, but he didn't let go of their arms even so. What nonsense, watch me go beyond the limit. Asta raised the corners of his mouth, the smile on his face showed his unyielding spirit. Stupid Asta, why are you so stupid, put us down, with your speed, you can escape alone. Noel cried, her pink eyes were full of emotion, obviously she and Asta had not known each other for a long time, but Asta can give her life for her, but what about her family members whose blood is thicker than water? I'm afraid they have already abandoned her in ridicule. Sister Vanessa, they'll ask you. Asta suddenly stopped, he threw Noel and Vanessa out heavily, and slowly opened the fourth door under the shocked eyes of the two girls. Wound the door. Asta's tone was calm, but the chakra in the whole body exploded as if nuclear fusion had occurred. Chapter 91 At this time, Asta's body has begun to be damaged, and he has entered the danger zone of eight inner gates, and this is the real state of entering eight inner gates, and now his strength and speed have reached an unprecedented increase. Is Asta using taijutsu that will suddenly increase his combat power again? Vanessa's thought flashed through his mind as he flew backwards, but is there really a taijutsu in this world that can be hardened by magic that seems to destroy the world? Tread, I saw the red-robed king in midair taking a step forward and making a slashing motion, and just this one, a storm of energy rushed towards everyone. Chris and Neville had already closed their eyes. Although Noel and Vanessa's eyes widened, their eyes were full of horror. It was as if an ordinary person saw an avalanche in the Himalayas, that kind of avalanche. The ground fissure scene is really hard to resist. But at this moment, a monstrous energy jumped out of Asta's body. I saw two rays of brilliance like long blue dragons rising from Asta's feet, and Asta's silver hair stood up at the heels, and the white face also turned into a terrifying dark red at this time. Dumin, Asta raised the Sword of Destruction and tapped his feet on the ground, and a sonic boom exploded in an instant. His speed exceeded the speed of sound at this time, and the whole person seemed to be turned into a sharp sword and slashed towards the Headless King. Bang! The first collision between Asta and the Headless King was the aura generated by the two, or enchantment. I saw that the death barrier condensed by the Headless King was smashed by Asta's sword of severing demons in an instant. Boom! Asta's sword fiercely collided with the Headless King's colorful sword. From the ground, there seemed to be two kings fighting in the sky. One was shining with colorful brilliance, and the other was blood and sweat. Red and green, two colors. 
Zizizi. The two swords made a harsh grinding sound. The rear force of the two of them was almost used up at the same time, and then they were bounced off by the huge anti-shock force from the collision. Bang 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 bang. When the headless king flew out, countless magic stones in the army array exploded due to overload, and the headless soldiers also disappeared. In an instant, a huge vacuum zone appeared in front of everyone. Boom! Asta slammed hard not far from Noel and the others, and he had already exited from the Duman state the moment he bounced off. In fact, his current physical strength can only maintain a blow in the Duman state. Fortunately, the magic stones that support the energy of the Headless King also burst a lot, which makes the Headless King unable to keep flying. Asta, Noel ran quickly, and then placed Asta on her knee. Although she didn't know how to heal spells, she saw that her sister Mimosa put Asta's knee on the pillow. Applying medicine, Asta exchanged a lot of healing potions and recovery potions from the system, and said weakly, take it internally and externally. Oh, I got it. After a brief panic, Noel immediately poured the healing potion on Asta's body. This moment's sourness was a hundred times more refreshing than salt and alcohol in the wound. Chris gasped when he saw it. He breathed a sigh of relief, because he had experienced the pain of the healing potion being poured on his body. Brother, are you all right? Neville said worriedly. It's okay, it's just the boy in front of him, he's a real hero. Chris said sincerely, especially the sword between Asta and the Headless King at the end, it shook the world. This is a collision that only kings and kings can make. This is the king of the two eras. Although the collision is only a moment, but those who have watched this contest will never forget it. Let's go. Vanessa and Noel worked together to lift Asta onto the magic broom, and then everyone took advantage of the neutral position before the Headless King issued an attack command and walked out. Asta turned back and took a deep look at the Headless King standing on the spot, with countless thoughts in his heart, what kind of earth-shattering war happened here? If it wasn't for a weapon like the Sword of Severing Demons in his hand, even opening Dooman would only be beneficial to an invincible position. Snapped. Soon, Vanessa led the crowd across the edge of the ancient battlefield and returned to the path that led into the village. Saved. Noel breathed a sigh of relief, slumped to the ground weakly, then turned his delicate face to stare blankly at Asta, so handsome. Several benefactors, thank you for risking your life to save. Chris knelt heavily on the ground, the broken red robe behind him was slightly blown by the breeze, how does this red robe compare to the red robe of the Headless King? You should thank your sister. Vanessa smiled gently. If it wasn't for Niver's persistence and special induction, they wouldn't have been able to find Chris so accurately to complete the task. Of course, the most important thing in all of this is Asta. If it wasn't for Asta, they would have been eliminated by the mutant insects long ago when they entered the unmagical enchantment. Point zero. So, Vanessa touched Asta's forehead kindly like a mother, thank you for your hard work, little Asta, then leave it to my sister, the mission will be written very beautifully, so beautiful that it will never let you read the first page again. Second I, those little secrets of yours, only we know. When Vanessa finally spoke, she leaned over to Asta's ear, the warm breath made Asta's ears turn red, and she couldn't help opening her amber eyes, you foul again, sister Vanessa. Ha ha, Vanessa chuckled lightly, and then they said goodbye after a period of trimming. Everyone, goodbye. Chris and Neville reluctantly watched Vanessa leave with Noel and Asta. Chris, a hero has nothing to do with strength or weakness, you are a real hero, continue to protect Fangale village in the future. Asta gave Chris a thumbs up when he left, which made Chris burst into tears in an instant. I will protect the village. Chris nodded heavily, at this moment he was finally recognized by others, he became a hero, he did it. He really did it. From now on, my sister can socialize like a normal girl. Brother, please don't sacrifice for me in the future. Nawire squatted down and hugged the messed up man who was crying on the ground, while Chris gradually recovered his calm under Nawire's comfort. Sergeant. Finally over. Noel breathed a sigh of relief. He thought it would be a simple rescue mission, but he didn't expect the process to be so thrilling. No, my shoulder still hurts a little bit, rub it for me. Asta leaned against Noel's arms, but he was treated like a VIP after taking off his strength. Noel and Vanessa were afraid that he would fall off the magic broom, so they were very close. Ah, is it better this way? Noel subconsciously began to massage, 
but then saw Asta's flat appearance, he couldn't help but get angry again, why Asta is always as angry and likable as the husky. Little Asta's recovery ability is really impressive, it seems that I'm going to speed up. Vanessa couldn't help laughing when she watched Asta and Noel start arguing again, trip to the ancient battlefield ruins really unforgettable. Sister Vanessa, you should slow down. Noel hugged Asta nervously. Although she has grown a lot after the war, her fear of heights has not disappeared because of this journey. Two hours later, Vanessa took Asta and Noel back to the Black Bull's headquarters, but as soon as they entered the door, they saw Luck and Magna standing by the wall. You two got punished for standing again. Vanessa gloated when she came in. Shut up, you shameless female alcoholic. Magna turned his head angrily, but when he turned his head and saw Asta being supported by the two women, he immediately said, are you injured? Hey, let me just say, the combat mission is very dangerous, just leave it to me next time. Luck said excitedly, but then he seemed to think of something more interesting, who is Asta hurting you? You can get hurt. Luck's eyes flashed with excitement, the power of Asta is obvious to all in the Magic Palace, but such a powerful person was injured in the mission of destroying the robber group of the enemy country, what kind of powerful robber can do this? It's nothing, it's just that I'm overworked, just take a rest. Asta smiled, then looked at Vanessa and said, Sister Vanessa, I'll leave the aftermath to you, I'm a little tired now, let Noel help me to the room go in. Just leave the report to me, little know I, Asta will leave it to you. Vanessa smiled slyly. Don't worry, Sister Vanessa. Noel nodded, not feeling that something was wrong. After all, Asta never abandoned her when she was in danger, she would naturally take good care of Asta, and then Noel supported the pretentious Asta and turned towards Asta. Room to go. Noel is supporting Asta. Everyone in the hall was stunned for a while. What's the situation? Why did the arrogant little princess come back and treat Asta so well? Hey, female alcoholic. What happened to you this time? Magna couldn't help asking. If you want to know, then ask the head of the regiment. Vanessa turned her head and left. Headless soldier, headless king, there are also some messy little bugs. This ancient battlefield in Fengale village is really extraordinary, but I didn't miss this kid Asta, that sword is sure to be good. Yami soon I know the ins and outs of things, of course, there are some slight changes, such as Asta spewing fire in an area without magic, suddenly taking out a recovery potion, etc. This time, the little Asta is the first one. Unfortunately, the head of the robber group forgot to bring it when the headless soldier came over. It is estimated that it is already in the ruins. Vanessa said. Well, I see, take a good rest. Yami nodded then muttered to himself with a cigarette in his mouth, I really found a treasure, ha ha ha. Is your room so small? It's so narrow and small, but it's not dirty or smelly. Noel was a little disgusted at first, and then he felt a little distressed. He didn't expect the living environment of the big boy beside him to be so bad, but no matter how bad the situation, she can always see the grin at the corner of Asta's mouth, and the whole person is full of positive energy. This is much better than those outcasts and paupers who don't have a place to live. Asta said, laying down on the bed, and then said, the back hurts. Here, Noel hurriedly stepped forward and rubbed lightly. Yes, just a little harder. Asta showed an expression of enjoyment, Noel just massage until I fall asleep. Beautiful thoughts. Noel withdrew his hand. Originally, a girl would go overboard in a boy's room. If she stayed for a while, it would be fine, and she ran out immediately. It's really cute. Asta had already recovered 7 to 88. After Noel left, the carp jumped up and turned upside down, and then excitedly opened the system mall. This trip to the ancient battlefield ruins can be said to have made a profit. What? A headless soldier earns 500 points, and the shattered magic stone when he fought with the headless general and the headless king directly led to the disappearance of tens of thousands of headless soldiers. In addition to the corpse picking poisonous bees and the ruined cockroaches at the beginning, and the scattered enemy robbers, altogether, his points have exceeded 5.6 million. It's an amazing rhythm. Moreover, the system mall should also be upgraded. Ding dong. This upgrade requires 500,000 points, do you want to upgrade? Upgrade, Asta said without the slightest hesitation. At the same time, a white light flashed in front of his eyes, and the system displayed the upgrade interface. Upgrading. 
1%-2%-3%-15%-32%-55%-75%-99%-100%. After the upgrade is completed, 500,000 points will be deducted for the level upgrade this time, and a total of 5 items will be added to this upgrade. Homashu, 3 Tomo Sharingan, 100,000 points. B Rank Ninjutsu, Cage Bunshin no Jutsu, 50,000 points. Fire Release Goka Mekyaku, 50,000 points. Chronospace Ninjutsu Horizon Slash, 50,000 points. Props, Healing Spring Water, 50,000 points. Chakra Tinder, 10,000 points. Recovery Potion, 50 points. Flying Jade, 100,000 points. Kikatsugan, 10 points for 1 point. Kanai, 10 points for 1 point. Healing Potion, 1 point per bottle. Finally, 3 Tomo Sharingan. Asta is excited. 3 Tomo is the limit of Ordinary Sharingan, and the next is the awesome Mangekio Sharingan. Redeem 3 Tomo Sharingan. Asta's mouth twitched. His domineering and unparalleled sermons, 5 million points, is so self willed. Ding dong. Successfully redeemed 3 Tomo Sharingan, spending 100,000 points. 3 Tomo Sharingan. Normal effect. Slow down the enemy's attack speed, and gain insight. Special effects. 70% chance to cast Genjutsu, 70% chance to copy the opponent's magic, 70% chance to see through all disguises. Although no new attributes have been added, the trigger probability has been greatly improved. Asta's pupils changed again, I saw a little lacquer Tomo added to the dark red 2 Tomo's pupils, and 3 Tomo Sharingan's eyes were opened. Eyes are the most important sensory organs of a person. At this time, they are upgraded to Asta of 3 Tomo. What the eyes see is more translucent and clear, and 3 Tomo also brings unprecedented beauty to Asta, which is definitely a pair that does not need. Confusion can attract people's eyes. The next step is to exchange for another 14 kinds of ninjutsu and new items. Of the 5 new items added this time, 4 of them are related to ninjutsu, and only one is an item, which seems to be very effective, healing spring water. In the past, Asta would definitely not be purchased. After all, he would have to save 50,000 points for a long time, but now Asta does not matter, let alone 5 million points in the system, now he has found a good place to earn points, as long as if you run out of points, you can go to the ancient battlefield ruins to find the red-robed King PK. This is a rhythm that can easily break through 10 million. Exchange for healing spring water. Asta whispered happily. Ding dong. Successful exchange of healing spring water, spending 50,000 points. Healing Spring Water. Recover all the dark wounds in the body instantly, restore all the stamina, chakra, and magic. Note, there is no limit to the number of times of this healing spring, as long as the points are enough, it can be used in an unlimited cycle. It's awesome. Asta was shocked, doesn't it mean that he will have a steady stream of physical strength and chakra for him to surpass his limit, and even if he opens 8 doors, he is not afraid of irreversible damage to his body, just a bottle of healing spring water will do it all. Ah. Then, if this is the case, wouldn't he be supernatural? Gudong. Gudong. After the exchange, Asta drank it without saying a word. It tasted a little like drinking a bottle of coke, but it was a hundred times better than coke. Hiccup. After Asta hiccuped, his whole body felt comfortable, as if in the spring, all the dark wounds in his body had recovered as before, and the lost stamina and chakra had also returned to their peak state. Now Asta is full of strength. Ah, I'm going to exceed the limit. Asta jumped out of the window, galloping kilometers to ensure that no one was following, and directly summoned the flying jade. From now on, he can also fly. Through Asta's call, 15 flying jade immediately gathered under the feet, these flying jade can form any shape, and even if only one can continue to fly as long as it is grasped by hand. Target, forest, Asta stepped on it and immediately flew towards the barren forest far away from the Black Bull's headquarters. After galloping for a while, Asta also saw that the speed of the flying jade is similar to that of a normal magic broom, and it needs to be improved. It should be almost here. Asta stopped in a secluded mountain field, and then started to exchange for another three kinds of ninjutsu. Ding dong. Successfully redeemed B-ranked cage Bunshin no jutsu, spending 50,000 points. B-ranked ninjutsu katakana middle dot cage Bunshin no jutsu. Using chakra to create physical clones, they can act and fight like the caster, have consciousness independent of the caster's body and a certain anti-strike ability, 
which can be applied to various ninjutsu and the memory of the clone after the normal release and the experience will return to the ontology. Note, this technique determines the number of avatars according to the caster's own chakra. Since it is not Taju Cage Bunshin no Jutsu, there are at most nine. Each avatar is highly deceptive and will not affect the main body. Taijutsu that inherits 10% of the main body. Cage Bunshin no Jutsu. Asta used it immediately after the exchange, and suddenly there were nine shadow clones that were exactly the same as him. It looks pretty good. Asta was overjoyed. He didn't expect that one day he would be able to hang out like Naruto. Who are you saying is not bad? A shadow clone laughed. Where is this place? Said another shadow clone. Do we have any mission? The third shadow clone asked. Catch a wild boar for everyone and come back. Asta was reminded by the third shadow clone. Anyway, they have already been summoned. If you are idle, you will be idle. It is better to try the effect. It's a piece of cake. All the shadow clones acted immediately, and their skills were strong. Since the shadow clone would divide the chakra equally, there was only 10% of the chakra in Asta's body at this time, but Taijutsu would never change. Boom bang bang. Soon, the nine shadow clone returned, each carrying an elephant-like wild boar. Okay, let me see what happened to you all. Asta said, taking back the shadow clone, and immediately there were nine more memories in his mind. This is the picture of nine shadow clones searching and hunting wild boars. As expected of AB rank ninjutsu. And the most important thing is that although these avatars will share my chakra equally, when they inherit 10% of my taijutsu, they will not divide my taijutsu. Asta grinned, and then exchanged second ninjutsu. Fire release Goka Mekyaku. This is Yakushi Kabuto's use of Uchiha Madara resurrected by Edo Tensai against the Shinobi Coalition. Although it is only a B rank ninjutsu, it was barely blocked by water release Sujinheki of nearly 20 Shinobi Coalition members, and the power is amazing. Asta also knew from the ruins of the ancient battlefield. While improving taijutsu, these ninjutsu are also very important, otherwise just dealing with the corpse poisonous wasps and the ruined cockroaches will trouble him to death. Ding dong. Successfully redeemed for B-rank ninjutsu fire release Goka Mekyaku no Jutsu, spending 50,000 points. B-rank ninjutsu fire release Goka Mekyaku no Jutsu. Gather chakra behind the throat, and spit out a large fire like sea water. The range is very large, and the lethality is amazing. Fire release Goka Mekyaku no Jutsu. Asta came to a clearing and immediately spewed a terrifying flame from his throat, which was many times more damage and range than Gokaku no Jutsu. As expected of the ninjutsu created by Uchiha Madara. Asta sighed, then looked at the next ninjutsu. B rank time space ninjutsu Horishin slash. This is a B rank time space ninjutsu developed by Nadaim Hokage which combines Horishin no Jutsu with a samurai sword, first silently leaving a Horishin pattern on the opponent, and then teleporting at a lightning-fast speed in front of the enemy holding a samurai sword and piercing the opponent's body, this is a deadly trick that can kill the enemy with one hit, and it is also an unavoidable lightning attack. It's a perfect match for me to use the Sword of Destruction. Asta's eyes lit up. Originally, his speed was the nightmare of a magician in this world. Now he is using this ninjutsu, which is simply invincible. Ding dong. Time and space ninjutsu Horishin Chop no Jutsu successfully redeemed for B rank, spend 50,000 points. B rank time space ninjutsu Horishin Chop no Jutsu. You can leave a Horishin spell on any person or object by touching it. The body can instantly move to the location marked with the spell. After being locked, it cannot be erased, and an instant kill can be accomplished. Note. There are three ways to activate this technique. The first is to combine Horishin no Jutsu with a katana sword. Through the samurai sword, the Horishin pattern is silently left on the opponent's body, and then instantly moves to the front of the enemy at a lightning fast speed. The body of the opponent. This is a deadly move that can kill the enemy in one hit, and it is also an unavoidable lightning attack. This is a routine operation which can kill people invisibly, but the effect of encountering a magician is almost impossible, because the magician does not melee you at all. As long as the magician who makes Asta close, then there is no need to cast this kind of spell, and Asta can solve it directly. The second type combines Horishin no Jutsu with Kanai, throwing Kanai with Horishin spell on it during battle, when Kanai flies behind the opponent, 
the caster instantly moves to the opponent's back and holds the kanai behind the opponent's back attack. This was a good move, and Asta smiled. At first, I thought Horaisha no Jutsu from Yandaimi, Hokage, and Minato was very handsome. He could instantly move to the position he played with Kanai. The third type combines Horaishin no Jutsu, Kanai, and Katana, and throws the Kanai that has left the Horaishin spell in battle to distract the enemy. When the Kanai flies behind the opponent, the caster uses quickly move to the front of the enemy with a speed that can't hide your ears, holding a samurai sword and piercing the opponent's body. Handsome. Asta couldn't wait to pull out a kanai, then left the Horaishin technique on the kanai and threw it towards the distant tree. Whoosh! The speed of kanai is very fast, Asta waits for kanai to fly a certain distance and then triggers the Horaishin technique, and his body disappears instantly to kunai's place. Cut! Asta slashed the tree into two pieces with a single blow with the huge demon severing sword. This trick is too cool. After Asta exchanged all these ninjutsu, he began to think of a way to synthesize these seemingly irrelevant ninjutsu. The first combo, Horaishin slashes and adds Goka Mekyaku. Asta threw Kanai, when Kanai came to the back of a rock, Asta instantly came to Kunai's position, and then spit out Goka Mekyaku at the rock. The lethality of this move is terrifying. The flames that Goka Mekyaku spews are enough to burn any target. This is a set of group damage. The second set of combos, Cage Bunshin no Jutsu and Horaishin Slash. Asta instantly transformed into Nine Shadow Clone, and then the Nine Shadow Clone and the main body released Kanai at the target, but there was only one Kanai with the Horaishin technique. Kanai, the purpose of this is to dazzle the enemy and have better cover. The strength improvement this time is terrifying. Asta has a certain understanding of his current strength. The most conspicuous is the Horaishin Cut. This ninjutsu is simply versatile, and the most intuitive is the three Tomo Sharingan. In other words, if Asta originally watched the world with 720p HD, then it is now 1080p Ultra HD. The visual effect is still very obvious. After Asta is familiar with the skills for a while, he returns to the Black Bull headquarters. The next day, before dawn, Asta got up and dressed neatly, and then came to his training ground in the dense forest outside the castle. At this point, Asta has built a stake for practicing boxing, training kunai's bullseye, and simple horizontal and parallel bars. Still need some weights. Asta drilled into the forest, the forest was still dark at this time, but there was no obstacle for him to open three Tomo Sharingan. Soon Asta found a huge rock, which looked like several tons. The key is that the shape is punctual, and it only needs a little repair to be a cube. It's you. Asta took out the kanai, and the kanai came with chakra, which was almost as sharp as mud, and soon a cube-shaped load-bearing stone was polished. Go! Asta threw the boulder with one hand, and then carried it on his shoulder. At this time, any chakra was useless, and he walked towards the training ground he opened with a load of several tons of stones, step by step. Bang! Asta came to the designated position and threw the stone directly to the ground. At this time, the muscles in his shoulders and waist were already sore. It seemed that weight-bearing was indeed a good training method. Next, Asta started to practice his fists, just throwing his fists in a simple manner, and his strength was also measured, otherwise this wouldn't Wang Zhao pile would not be able to withstand his strength at all. After thousands of punches, a sweat dripped down Asta's forehead, and then Asta started training Kanai, every projectile hit perfectly, followed by training on the horizontal bar and parallel bar, and the whole set became bright, Asta then walked towards the castle comfortably. It's so refreshing to stretch out your muscles and muscles. Asta shook his body and walked towards the large bathing area of the black bull, but he prefers to call the bathhouse, which is appropriate. Asta took a shower, changed into dry clothes, and walked towards the cafeteria. As soon as he entered, Charmy was already there. Good morning, Asta. Charmy greeted happily, and whenever she eats, she is always in a very happy mood. Would you like to make another bet? Asta suddenly wanted to tease the snacker, so he said with a wink and a smile. Ah, change, BT. Charmy suddenly thought of the last bet, and then ran away in a hurry. Ha ha, Asta couldn't help laughing, it was really cute. Humph, it's really early to get up, but I just saw Charmy hurriedly running out of here, what BT thing did you do? Noel held his small arms, and there seemed to be jealousy in his pink eyes. I just eat, Asta said innocently, then looked at Noel, you look good today. 
That's natural, Noel said and sat down beside Asta naturally. Yesterday, she was hugged by Asta even when she ran away. Today, she is in good spirits after a sleep. Would you like to train together later? Asta laughed. Noel's training ground was right next to him, and Asta also made a few bullseyes for Noel. For your sincerity, I promise you. Noel said proudly. Little Asta and little Noel really have energy. They started bickering early in the morning. Vanessa yawned, lying lazily on the table. Drunk girl, it turns out you eat breakfast too. Magna and Luck rushed in, then Finneral and his sister, Jay Shu, came in one after another, and finally when the head of the group Yami came in dozing in, there was no there. The sensual duo Gordon and Gray were also already seated at the dinner table. Do you really want to tear down the house early in the morning? Yami stared at Magna. Sorry, Commander. Magna immediately got up and bowed, too obedient. I said Charmy, what time do you want to see in the crack of the door, why don't you let the sheep chef serve the food? Yami turned to look at Charmy who was looking at the crack of the door. I'll come in here. Charmy saw so many people in the cafeteria, so he came in with confidence, and then let the sheep chef prepare delicious meals, and soon a large table of hearty breakfast was ready. I'm starting. Asta couldn't wait to shake off his cheeks, it's all the meat he likes. Really, do you want to slow down, no one is robbing you. Noel was holding a glass of water, for fear that Asta choked to death. Yesterday I exceeded the limit so many times, and now I'm really hungry. Asta is not exaggerating, although all the damage caused by opening Duman was restored by the healing spring, but because of the huge physical strength, he is very hungry now. Well, yes, it seems that you have a good listen to me. Yami grinned, he liked teenagers who went beyond their limits. I feel like I'm alive too, Vanessa said after drinking half a bottle of red wine. Hey, Commander, is there any combat mission to eradicate the robbers today? Luck said excitedly. No, Yami said simply, you guys just give me the limit in the castle. It's really boring, Vanessa looked at Asta, her beautiful eyes lit up, little Asta, can my sister watch your training today? Of course you can, and sister Vanessa, it's a pity that you don't have to run with such long legs. Asta looked at Vanessa's slender legs. Asta, can't you use your normal eyes to evaluate women? Vanessa couldn't help but complain, with such beautiful legs, you let her use it for running. PFF, Playboy Funeral sprayed first. Although Asta's food looks good and the sheep chef is also complimenting her, it's a pity she's a BT. Charmy put food in her mouth with tears in her eyes, and finally found a food friend who coveted her fatness. After breakfast, I really need to sleep again. Yami yawned after eating breakfast, then walked away with his eyes in his mouth. This level of laziness, no, it should be the level of dashing, it's like no other. Magna, let's fight after dinner. Luck said excitedly. Go away, I'm very busy, Magna threw an aloof face. Ah, by the way, I forgot, Betch, that you have to clean the chores for Asta, I almost forgot. Luck made an innocent look and pointed his index finger to his lips. I'm riding a horse, Magna really exploded at the slightest, it's okay if others don't say it, but when he says it, he feels aggrieved by the thief. Hey, let's fight, Luck clapped his hands on the table with excitement. Oh. By the way, whoever dares to cause trouble will be slaughtered. Yami walked to the entrance of the cafeteria and suddenly turned his head with murderous intent. Yes, Captain Yami, Magna and Luck immediately said obediently. Yeah, Yami nodded, and then rammed straight out of the cafeteria door without even lifting his hands. And let us not destroy, you are the king of destruction, okay. Noel complained feebly. Noel, don't just watch it, we're going to train soon. Asta pushed a piece of bread into Noel's hand. I'm not afraid that you will suddenly choke to death. Noel rolled his eyes, then picked up the slice of bread and ate it gracefully. Asta, what happened to you yesterday? Magna asked again humbly. Yes, yes, Luck also nodded desperately. Oh, nothing, just met some headless monsters. Asta said casually. Headless monster, everyone at the dinner table was taken aback except Vanessa and Noel. Is it so terrifying? Charmy's mind has already surfaced what it looks like with only a body and no head, it looks like a white chicken. They must be super strong. Luck got excited. If there is no magic in prison, it is still easy to solve, but with the magic in prison, then you need to smash the gems in their chests, so it is still a bit difficult. 
Asta said. There is such an exciting thing as magic imprisonment. Luck was even more excited after hearing this, this is definitely an exciting challenge. Magna, do you want to come with me? Luck asked. Don't. Magna refused simply and neatly. You're scared. Luck laughed, wanting to make a move. Men are fearless, but there are still chores to do. Magna gritted his teeth. Then let me help you. Luck said. Okay. Magna nodded immediately. Everyone fell over. This time Luck and Magna's confrontation is no different from the confrontation between Dasha and Ursha, so who is at a loss? Let's go training. Noel wiped his mouth gracefully with a napkin. As long as girls are cute, they can be so cute even when they eat. Asta laughed. Stupid Asta, what nonsense. Noel blushed immediately. I'm not talking nonsense, I'm talking about Sister Vanessa. Eh, Santa joked. Cough. Vanessa was gulps down the red wine in front of the bottle, and she couldn't help coughing when she was caught off guard. Soul. Noel immediately became angry. But Noel, your four-leaf clover studs look great. Asta looked at the little pink studs Noel wore on his ears. Yes, yes, Noel froze for a moment, then said, you have the vision, let's go to training. Okay, the new day starts with a 10-kilometer handstand. Asta said and started walking with his hands upside down, and if you observe carefully, Asta does not support his body with his palms, but exchanges five fingers, first two take a step with the thumb, followed by the two index fingers. This kind of super intensive training can not only exercise every finger, but also train the coordination of the body, which can be said to serve multiple purposes. It's just an ordinary person, maybe it's okay to walk with the thumb and index finger, but if you have to use the last ring finger and little finger to walk, it will be extremely difficult because the normal little finger can't support the importance of the body at all. But Asta is already on the ground. Sure enough, after forcibly opening the fifth gate, Duman, yesterday, my body broke through the limit again. Now I should be able to open the fourth gate, wounded gate, directly. This can be said to be two consecutive strides. It is the fastest way to improve his strength. Asta couldn't help but sigh at this time. Of course, the more important thing is that he now has a magic medicine like healing spring water. No matter what kind of damage his body suffers, he can easily recover, is the most important. It's no wonder that little Asta can burst out with such terrifying speed and strength. This has a lot to do with the usual hard training. Vanessa couldn't help but praise. Okay, I'm going to start training too. Noel came to the training ground and immediately started training his accuracy. Really motivated, Vanessa tilted her head, watching Asta and Noel training lazily, feeling like she could watch it all day. One finger zen with a load. Asta had already started to exceed the limit on the spot, only to see that he first threw several tons of stones into the air, then quickly stood upside down, and then the boulder landed on his feet. Bang! In an instant, Asta's right thumb had penetrated into the ground, and then his right thumb began to redden at a speed visible to the naked eye. This super intensive load instantly brought Asta back to the time when he first exercised one finger meditation. That's right, that's what it feels like. The soreness of the finger abdominal muscles and the tremors of the whole body muscles, this is training. Okay, so strong. Noel opened his mouth in amazement. Ordinary people don't talk about the weight-bearing one-finger meditation. Even just letting his fingers support his body is already amazing, but Asta is now as huge as a hut on his back, of boulders for training. If only there was water here, I could tie a big rock behind me like Dragon Ball, and then swim. This way, I can exercise more comprehensive muscles. Asta thought regretfully, but then saw someone practicing water magic beside him. No, an instant bright spot. Maybe Asta's eyes were too hot at this time, so Noel immediately noticed, stupid Asta, why are you looking at me like this? No, let's have a collaboration that goes beyond the limit. Asta laughed. Tell me, Noel said with his arms crossed. I am responsible for digging a super channel, and you are responsible for filling the channel with water. Asta expects that this is a very feasible method in theory, because Noel's water magic has absolutely nothing to say, since the magic got out of control. You can see the huge water Polo made, so soon he will be able to swim with weight. What kind of BT proposal are you? Noel exclaimed in shock. I think it's okay, just to further practice little Noel's manipulation ability. Vanessa laughed aside, to be honest, she was also amazed by the idea, is this a plan to create a river? 
Then try it. Noel nodded, expecting to. Okay. Asta immediately bent his legs and bounced the boulder behind him, shaking a lot of dust, then took out the sword of breaking the devil, and began to burn his youth. The sword of broken demon. Is this how I was spoiled when I stepped on a horse? Okay, so fast. Noel was shocked by Asta's speed. It was like an excavator. In the blink of an eye, a small hole was dug. In the blink of an eye, the depth of the small hole could not see Asta directly. This is a foul. Noel is your turn. In less than 10 minutes, Asta threw a river that was 8 meters deep, 12 meters long, and 9 meters wide. This already belongs to the ranks of super swimming pools, but this level of buoyancy wants to support swimming with loads of tons is obviously not enough. All this is just the first channel. Asta plans to dig four such channels in order to be more efficient, and then run through them when Noel is filled. Okay. Noel's spirit immediately became highly concentrated. It is well known that the more magic power accumulated, the easier it is to lose control. Noel held his mind, then raised his hands above his head like gathering vitality bombs, and then a water ball that became bigger and bigger. Just above Noel's head. Come on, little Noel. Vanessa cheered secretly, while Asta smiled lightly, because human potential is unlimited, once the limit is exceeded once, the limit will become the norm. Sure enough, Noel quickly gathered a water ball that was even bigger than the last time when the magic power was out of control. This huge water magic power once again shocked everyone in the castle. As the magic out of control again, Yami rolled over and yawned, got up from the bed, looked into the jungle from the window, and saw a huge water bomb. But this time, although the magic power is equally turbulent, it is not violent, and it is obviously still within the controllable range. Well, these little devils did a good job, they really surpassed themselves in place. Yami nodded with satisfaction, and then rolled back to the bed. Hey, the newcomer is really energetic, isn't it, Magna who started cleaning the clutter early in the morning. Luck dragged the broom and flew into the air. Magna is Magna, why do you add the words, cleaning the sundries, in front of it? Do you despise me, just like cleaning? But you're just cleaning the clutter, and you're replacing Asta, cleaning the clutter every day. Luck affirmed again. I can't stand it anymore. Magna threw the mop in his hand, flame magic katakana middle dot blast kill shot ball. Magna, big stupid pig, can't beat me. The look in Luck's eyes became more and more excited, and he summed it up. Magna is a volcano. The more violent it is, the more it is in his arms. Do you guys want to die? Yami appeared murderously at the entrance of the stairs on the second floor, he was just falling asleep on the horse, can these troubled teenagers be quiet? I'm sorry, Captain Yami. Magna lowered his head instantly, then suppressed his anger and walked out with luck. Luck actually made him lose face in front of the most respected Captain Yami. Today he insisted on letting luck there is no bloody catastrophe. The world is finally clean. Yami returned to the bedroom with tears streaming down his face. His series of consecutive dreams for the god of gamblers has reached a critical moment, and the battle of conferring gods is about to begin, so he can't stop sleeping or something. Boom. However, just when Yami was about to fall asleep, the sound of fire magic and thunder magic colliding and exploding suddenly came from outside the window, but fortunately, the sound was getting further and further away, otherwise Yami would really beat the children. Magna and Luck are really hardworking. They actually practice combat training early in the morning, and they're the kind of punches that hit the flesh and see blood, so they can't wait to kill each other. Asta heard the explosion from the rear. He couldn't help smacking his tongue at this scene, but he didn't know that Magna and Luck sighed him just now. Water bombs. Noel threw the second large water polo gathered into the second channel dug by Asta with difficulty, and then squatted down to rest, obviously reaching the limit. Silk creation magic, rest the sofa anytime. Vanessa waved the wand in her hand, and a knitted sofa immediately appeared in front of Noel. Thank you, Sister Vanessa, but I don't need it, I have to go beyond the limit, I will never rest until I gather four water polo. Noel glanced at Asta with a firm look in his eyes, from today she also look up to Asta and surpass yourself every day. Vanessa, this magic is great. Asta saw that Vanessa created a sofa in an instant, and immediately became happy. When camping later, wouldn't Vanessa create whatever she wanted? Little Asta is not good again. Vanessa gave Asta a charming look, then raised her hand and knitted an ivy-colored hat on Asta's forehead. 
Why is it ivy color? Asta saw the ivy hat on his head, and suddenly became angry. He was still single, okay, even if he wanted to wear it, it was his turn. Ha ha, in the future, if you call me by my name again, I'll wear it for you every day. Vanessa smiled at Asta's shriveled expression. Prison killing scatter magic ball. Thor's shield. While Asta and the others were chatting and spanking, Magna and Luck came all the way from the castle, and because the magic ball of the prison killer shot released by Magna was bounced by Luck's Thor's shield, a lot of fireballs were thrown. All flew over. Water bombs. Water bombs. Water bombs. Noel used the water bombs like a conditioned reflex, and to her shock, every water bomb she fired hit Magna's with great precision. On the fireball. It seems that these days, little no eyes practice has been very effective. Vanessa said happily. I, I actually did it. Noel herself was shocked. She really didn't dare to think about this kind of quasi head, but she didn't expect that she actually practiced it. Noel, keep up the good work. Asta encouraged Noel, and then picked up the huge demon breaking sword to start a new round of digging mode. Yeah, Noel tasted the sweetness of training, and her motivation exploded instantly. She didn't even need Asta to remind her, she would continue to train hard. After all, she used to insist on training when she couldn't see a way out, let alone now. Well, it's really energetic. Vanessa yawned lazily, and was ready to go home and continue to take a nap. After all, for her, apart from tasks, she should be in the middle of sleep after eating every morning, past is. Asta, Noel, you guys keep training, I'm leaving now. Vanessa said goodbye. Got it, Sister Vanessa. Asta and Noel said almost simultaneously. So training class, don't forget to lie down on the sofa for a while, the sofa created by my sister is super comfortable. Vanessa blinked. Yeah, Asta nodded, and Vanessa didn't need to say that he would enjoy it. It would be even better if there was a Noel massage at that time. What are you thinking, BT? Noel smashed the half-human high-water polo on Asta's head, and Asta became a jerk in an instant. I didn't think anything about it. Asta said that he was innocent, didn't he just want to be a big sword? Isn't it just to bring Noel into the heroine of the movie, as for him? Humph, you must have been thinking bad things in just now. Noel glanced at Asta arrogantly, and was determined not to give Asta a chance to explain. Noel, Digging river channels and accumulating water energy is not our limit now, let's make it a little more difficult. Asta suddenly laughed badly, if he didn't dig this little girl Noel to give him a massage, he would have done it today. Eat she upside down. How to increase the difficulty? Noel became curious, because she also felt that just accumulating water polo was no longer a challenge, so she wanted to hear Asta's opinion, who knew that this question would be directly hooked. Let's make a bet, and see if you can accumulate a big water polo faster, or if I can dig two rivers in a row. Asta squinted and smiled innocently. Come here, this princess will still be afraid of you failing. Noel raised her head arrogantly, and she noticed just now that the time for her to accumulate a big water polo is just a little slower than that for Asta to dig a river, so even Asta can still increase the speed, but it can't be too outrageous, right? What's more, after surpassing the limit twice, she continued to become more and more proficient in water polo, so she believed that she could accumulate water polo faster than before, and with the pride of being a princess, she agreed. The bet is that whoever loses will be massaged, how about that? Asta pointed at the silk sofa made by Vanessa and smirked, because this bet, whether he wins or loses, is a big profit. Okay, as you wish, commoner. Noel didn't realize the trap, and the little arrogant nodded his silver head. Then let's start now. Asta finished picking up the Sword of Destruction, like an old farmer who has been plowing the land for ten years. His posture is not standard, and his 14 speed digging is a little faster than before, but if at this speed, it must be no match for Noel. HMPH, but that's it, today you have made an appointment for this princess. Noel was overjoyed when he saw this, but she was still completely immersed in the joy of the upcoming victory, and she never thought that massage would touch her body. Hey! Little girl, watch me imitate Xiao Yan and make you my Xiao Zuner. Asta's ambition is not small, this time whether he massages Noel or Noel massages him, he has to experience it again and again, come have a fish and bear's paw together. So he pretended to lose the first bet, 
and then massaged Noel with a remorseful face, took the opportunity to propose a second bet, and then narrowly beat Noel, so that he could press Noel again, and let Noel massage himself again. Thinking of this, Asta laughed involuntarily, he really felt that he was a witty one. Change T. Noel noticed Asta's smile and spit it out, he really didn't know how he was so fascinated by such erha. The first one is about to be dug up. At this time, Asta can be said to be full of firepower. On average, he has to swing the sword of severing demons more than a dozen times a second. Under this high-intensity excavation, the speed is really explosive. Noel's eyes are straight. Is this still a human? Noel swallowed his saliva and instantly felt the pressure multiply, although he was busy closing his eyes to concentrate on accumulating water magic. Hee <laughs> hee. Asta saw that Noel was on the line, and laughed even more happily. Okay, I'm about to be healed. Noel felt that he was about to continue, and suddenly opened his pink eyes, controlled a huge water polo, and fell into the third channel dug by Asta. Asta was on the way to the end of the fourth channel. I won. Noel jumped for joy. I didn't expect that little Noai's explosive power is so strong, forget it, I'd like to admit defeat, I'll give you a massage. Asta said regretfully. Humph. Noel came to the sofa arrogantly, then leaned down and lay down, yesterday, I ran such a long way to Fengale village that my legs are still hurting, so you can press my legs. Asta came to Noel well and was very skilled, because massage is an essential skill for them to practice taijutsu. Okay, so comfortable. Noel was a little nervous at first, but Asta's hand seemed to have a magical power that turned decay into a magical power. When he beat his legs, not only did he have the right amount of strength, but also a warm energy would permeate together. Relieves muscle soreness inside the body. Okay, Asta was ecstatic, deliberately stopping the massage when Noel was most comfortable. Stupid Asta, why didn't you press it? Noel protested, pouting. It's a little unconvincing to lose, Noel, shall we have another match? Asta began to put forward conditions. No, unless you give me another half-hour massage. Noel deliberately stern face, this is really the first time she has enjoyed a massage since she was a child, this wonderful feeling is really unforgettable. Okay, Asta smiled slightly, and then began to massage harder. Don't think that massage is just beating and beating. The highest level massage technique will integrate into chakra and completely relieve muscle soreness from the inside. Don't say that you haven't seen it before. The world's Noel, even when Asta was massaged like this for the first time by Kai, couldn't help but scream, it was really comfortable. Half an hour later, Noel fell asleep unconsciously. This little girl, wake up, you will catch a cold sleeping outside. Asta patted Noel's little face. Asta, people just fell asleep. Noel said sleepily, a drool dripping from the corner of his mouth, not to mention how cute he looked. If this loses me again, won't you get another massage? Asta laughed. That's true. Noel immediately raised his spirits when he thought of this, stood up and said, why don't you talk about it this time? It's still the old rule, I dig two rivers, you save a water polo that can fill the river. Asta said. Ah, we still have to dig river channels. Noel looked at Asta in surprise, we have dug four channels of 12 meters long, are you sure we want to dig further? Of course, Asta said with a smile, the current river training ground is already quite large. The four 12-meter-long river courses are connected to a length of 48 meters. If two more channels are added, the length will directly reach 72 meters. This is really spectacular. Come on then. Noel suddenly felt that there was a big river in front of the headquarters, which seemed to be good. When you were in a bad mood, you could look at the lake to relax. Okay, let's start. Asta took out the Sword of Severing Demons, opened the door. Open. The first gate of the eight inner gates was opened directly. As a result, Asta's speed was almost doubled. You you you, you fouled again with this move. Noel was stunned for a moment, how could this compare? But soon Noel gritted his teeth, how could the princess admit defeat, let's fight. Are you motivated? Asta saw Noel's unyielding expression out of the corner of his eyes, and suddenly felt that Noel, who is serious, is also very cute. However, the speed of Asta opening the door, more than doubled, so that no matter how anxious Noel was sweating, he couldn't catch up. If you can't catch up at all, you might as well give up. Noel thought with a sullen mouth. Noel, I'll teach you one more trick now, that is, never give up. Asta saw that Noel was about to give up, 
and immediately said with Guy Sensei's blood. What, what, Noel may not have noticed that he had inadvertently shown the look of wanting to give up just now, but now after Asta's cold and poisonous chicken soup, she suddenly felt full of power again. Is this a good thing? You know you can't do it, but you have to go beyond the limit seriously. This is youth. Asta finished speaking and raised his lips. No wonder Kai likes to encourage people so much. It turned out that he saw a person who was about to give up and showed his energy again. It's such a cool thing to come. And the poor little Noel was constantly being fooled by Asta beyond the limit until he finally lost the game. I lost. Noel conceded defeat, looking at the two river channels that had been dug. Then if you want to bet, you will give in. Asta said, and slid over to the knitted sofa, and then motioned Noel to stop being stunned, hurry up and slip. Press it. But I've never pressed anyone before, I can say it in advance. Noel pouted and came to Asta's side. So this is Noel's first time. Asta thought thoughtfully. What happened the first time? I can follow the steps you just followed. Noel refused to admit defeat, and then his two little hands pressed onto Asta at a loss. Hey, Asta gasped for a moment, feeling goosebumps all over his body. This was also the first time he had been massaged by a girl, and it felt soft and comfortable. Okay, Noel pressed his hands for a while and said aggrievedly. Are your hands sore? Asta narrowed his eyes. Hum, Noel nodded. Bring it, Asta said and held Noel's hand involuntarily, and then a soft chakra entered Noel's hand, and Noel instantly felt that his hand was much better. Asta, is this your recovery magic? How amazing, Noel exclaimed. Is there anything more comfortable than this, want to experience it? Asta laughed. What? Noel suddenly became curious. That is to soak your feet in hot water that challenges the limits of human beings. Asta said solemnly. Extreme, limit. When Noel heard this proposal, his liver jumped, sure he wouldn't be scalded to death. That's right, let's make a wild footbath now. Asta finished speaking took two large lumps of yellow mud from the dug channel, and then squeezed it into a hollow footbath. It's just a pinch, fire release gokaku no jutsu. Blunted out, and soon the yellow mud became solid under the fire. Stupid Asta, you startled me. Noel was so startled by the sudden fire that he backed away and nearly fell while dodging. Don't worry, pour some water in now, and I'll move the sofa. Asta said and moved the sofa to his side, then looked at Noel excitedly. I lost to you. Noel reluctantly threw two small water balls into the footbath, what should I do next? Look at me. After Asta finished speaking, he spit two small fireballs under the footbath, and soon the water in the footbath was hot, and then Asta took out another bottle of recovery potion and moved towards the two I put a few drops in a foot basin, looked at Noel and said, what are you still doing, didn't you say that your feet hurt, and now soak your feet in this, taking care of your day's fatigue is gone. Really? Noel asked in surprise. That's natural, Asta said. He was about to take off Noel's shoes, but Noel hurriedly ducked. I'll do it myself. Noel took off his shoes and socks with a blushing face, revealing his moon-like feet. Asta found that Noel's feet really had a few small blisters. It might hurt a bit later, but I've already let go of the recovery potion, and these small blisters will disappear soon. Asta said with a smile. Stupid, stupid, why do you care so much about me? Noel blushed. Because we're teammates, Asta said, patting Noel's thin little shoulder. Is it that simple? Noel asked in surprise. Of course, Asta nodded. Oh, Noel put his feet into the foot basin with a little disappointment, and then immediately lifted his feet up again in pain, it hurts. Usually the first stroke is the most painful, and then it will be much better. Asta coaxed. Really, Noel said, and tentatively put his foot into the foot basin, and then found that the stinging pain was not that much, and the recovery potion began to work, and the whole little foot felt numb and numb, and a piece of after a while of numbness, Noel found that his feet became very comfortable. Boom, the sky suddenly became densely clouded, and it seemed to be the rhythm of a torrential rain. No, it's going to change. Noel panicked, she didn't want to be a jerk. Don't rush to run, have you tried soaking your feet in a rainstorm? Asta laughed. Let's change, become Thai. Can you still soak your feet on a rainy day? Noel was surprised. Although his feet are very comfortable now, Wang Ma Zhao will be raining heavily and his whole body will be soaked wet. Get comfortable. Look at me. Asta put on his shoes and ran out, and after that, 
raindrops were already falling from the sky in twos and threes, and Noel had to cover his head with his small hands. Stupid Asta, what are you doing here? Noel pouted, she didn't want to be drenched in soup, but Noel instinctively chose to trust Asta, and soon saw Asta dragging a few people from the nearby woods a huge leaf ran back. On a rainy day, soaking your feet is very artistic. Asta said, he used these leaves to build a pergola. Then he was afraid that Noel was afraid of the cold, and lit a bonfire next to him, and suddenly a warm breath filled the leaves. Report in the pergola. It's so comfortable. Noel couldn't help stretching, and found that it was really artistic. It's raining right now. When the rain stops, these rivers will be filled. Asta looked at the heavy rain. Cultivation monster. Noel couldn't help pouting, really puzzled. The heavy rain lasted for a long time, during which Asta saw that the rain would not stop for an hour and a half, so he simply escorted Noel back to the castle, and then returned to the rain for today's training mission. Asta is really fighting. Magna couldn't help but sigh, but what surprised him even more was the performance of Asta next. Everyone saw that Asta did not know where to move a large stone, which looked like a small mountain, and then Asta tied himself and the stone with iron ropes. Regiment. Commander. Asta is going to commit suicide. Once Charmy came out of the headquarters, he happened to see Asta jumping into the water with a big rock tide, so frightened that her short legs turned over and quickly reported to Yami. Are you saying that Asta jumped into the water with a rock tide? Yami said calmly, to be honest, at first he was shocked when he heard Noel reporting that Asta committed suicide, but when he saw Asta tied in the water with a block the big boulder swam so fast that he couldn't help but draw a few black lines on his forehead. Yeah, yeah, what a big rock. Charmy exaggerated. I'm going to teach him, grandmas, training is training, don't you want to be so scary? Yami said, rolling up his sleeves and leaving, Charmy quickly hugged Yami's thigh. No, Captain, are you saying Asta is training? Charmy asked. Well, you should be able to see Noel and Vanessa, Magna, and Luck happily partying on the big rock by now. Yami snapped his nose. Devil, devil, is there still humanity? Charmy's mind immediately appeared as Asta as a coolie. It is said that there are still a lot of snacks and drinks, oh, yes, Magna will also make kebabs on it. Yesterday I went up to play a card, that taste. Yami said with an unforgettable expression on his face. I, I'm going too. Charmy heard that there were so many delicious foods on the boulder, and immediately ran wild, and soon came to the river to join the boulder frenzy betch. Ah, it makes me feel what it's like to surf at the beach. Vanessa spread her arms, she and Noel carried a beach chair on top of it, and there was a sun umbrella on top of her head. Asta dragged rocks it can generate extremely cool wind, drinking and eating meat in this environment is simply a human enjoyment. Asta, where are you raising fish? Hurry up, let this princess feel the feeling of riding the wind and waves. Noel was more worried than anyone at first, but now he is more happy than anyone else. This little girl, the princess is sick again. Asta couldn't help pouting, and then increased the horsepower. At this time, his muscles were infinitely close to the state of full load, but youth is to constantly surpass. For the next few days, Asta continued to train like this until it was time to go to the headquarters of the knights. Maybe it's because Asta and Noel are going away, so today's breakfast is extraordinarily rich. Hey, Asta, your muscles are getting stronger and stronger, when are we going to fight again? Luck poked at Asta's explosive arm and said greedily, such powerful muscles should be able to kill me with one punch. Bar. Ah, Asta looked at Luck with a clear brain, but his punch could indeed kill Luck. Luck, can you be normal, don't think about fighting Asta all day. Noel said gracefully, taking a bite of whole wheat bread. Has Noel started maintaining Asta? Luck asked innocently. You, 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 what nonsense. Noel blushed immediately. Ha ha. Vanessa covered her mouth and chuckled, feeling that since Asta and Noel joined Black Bull, the atmosphere in the whole group has become more active, and it really is a family, don't enter the same house. Don't talk about such boring topics, do you think my goddess sister would like to listen to these? If you want to talk, just talk about interesting topics, I only have 3214 funny words in stock. The sister control gentleman Ghosh said in advance. More than 3000 sentences. You want to tell all your sister that she has gone to the year of the monkey and the horse month. The old man criticized Finral. Bang. 
Yami kicked open the door of the cafeteria and walked in while everyone was eating happily, and yawned, after breakfast, go back to sleep. Captain, good morning. Charmy was startled, but when he saw it was Yami, he laughed. Mr. Yami, good morning. Magna stood up and saluted. Oh, keep eating. Yami took a cigarette and sat in his seat, then looked at Asta and said, I said, boy, remember to say hello in advance if you have a unique training method next time, if anyone sees it, they think I'm here abuse you. I'm in trouble for you. Asta said politely while stuffing food into his mouth. Eat slowly, you'll choke. Noel said worriedly, holding a glass of water. Thank you. Asta took the glass and drank it. It's devoured, Noel said helplessly. After all, you need to supplement nutrition. Vanessa said after drinking. Not bad, everyone's food is very generous, and the sheep chefs are also very happy. Charmy is still cheering on the side. By the way, Knight's headquarters, today I will hear your report on last week's raid on the Demon Palace, you should go after breakfast. Yami looked at Asta and Nolan said. The headquarters of the Knights. Can I find someone to discuss it twice? Luck's eyes lit up when he heard this, this is the feeling of a gathering of strong people. Luck feels like he's going to make trouble, so he's not allowed to go. Yami immediately rejected Luck. Ah, Luck's face was immediately pulled down, after all, he led the team in the Demon Palace last week, although Asta contributed the most. But I've assigned you a combat mission, go with Magna. Yami seemed to have known that Luck would be disappointed, so he had already prepared other arrangements. Obviously he cares about everyone very much, everyone will take care of them, but he has the appearance of a tyrant. It seems that Yami is also an old problem boy. Asta looked at such a caring Yami and couldn't help sneering. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.